A good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 103rd episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. I am your host with the most, Bill Cox. For those new to the show, the format is simple. Structured like a prize fight, two original comic art dealers will compete for your hard-earned cash, either bringing artwork that's new to the market or price to sell. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During tonight's main event, there are 10 rounds of art for sale with each dealer bringing... Yes. <laughs> uh, two round, two artworks per round. Artworks presented in rounds one through four will be priced $1,000 or less. In rounds five through eight, the artwork will be priced $2,000 or less. And anything goes in rounds nine and ten. Each dealer will be given 90 seconds per round to present both of their pieces of art for sale in rounds one through eight and two minutes in rounds nine and ten. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please halt, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications so that you never miss a single show on the Comic Art Live channel. To claim an artwork you want to buy this evening, it's very simple. Type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 2A-Anthony or claim 6B-Mike. In other words, the word claim followed by the round number and the letter A or B, a dash, and then the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork for sale, the exact claim phrase will be on the screen just above the art description. Please try to claim an artwork during the dealer's round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You will be given one last chance to purchase artwork during the Ragnarok recap, where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal if the duel is indeed a close one. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues. When several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time, your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly, and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's round, you are allowed to make an offer on the artwork presented. However, the dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept your offer. Be courteous and only message dealers who are currently presenting their art for sale. After the show, be sure to contact either of our dealers if you've claimed any of their artworks. Let them know which artworks you've claimed. Please include your mailing address and your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to wheel and deal! everybody hello everybody Did you miss us? <laughs> how are you? how's everybody doing mike how are you doing all is well no complaints sharon anthony how are you doing had a great day had a great day at work and uh it's happy to be here and uh the uh, art goblin says get happy and get claimy <laughs> and happy, we have bo peep the happy art you. goblin <clears throat> yep yeah Bo Peep is making an appearance tonight. Yes. Hello. Would you like to see Toy the Story, the Toy happy version? The happy goblin for Marcus? Oh like yeah. Show us uh what Sharon uh, drew for uh, Marcus. Ah, there you go, Marcus. What the it's not done yet. It's not done yet. That's a, that's a oh. recreation. That's an that's homage good. right there. That's, that's all homage. pencils and uh colored pencils and wait a minute. What is what is what is what 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 is that? It's a hip hip bone. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> oh, come Dude. on, dude! Man, at least you got good pointing <sighs> ability. That's but, uh, uh, that's, that's maybe Marcus. some some liminal. That is that is some wall power right there, Marcus. <laughs> I hope Marcus is in the chat. He that's that's yeah, that's he's amazing. in there. So, okay. Marcus, this was uh, for you and the deal, and then I'm gonna make some prints out of it so we can have it for uh, you know. For all the all the uh, uh, people wow. interested, Marcus, that means that piece is going to be published. Technically, you've really got a unique, <laughs> important piece of art created here. I just I'm so it's impressed. It's got this extra rib bone here. It's a uh, rib bone. No, science has not yet determined what that extra rib bone was needed for, but uh, <laughs> we can only guess. 
No, we don't need to see that comic, Anthony. All right. It's kind of a follow-up to that one that I just noticed. It's funny. <laughs> oh, God. The crotch hatching masterpiece, says Stephen M. Thank you. I for think that you can show that comic book. I think it's awesome. Go ahead, Anthony. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Anthony. Let show it show off. Okay, but because we came up. I just like uh, this is one of my. If anybody Anthony, sees this cover out here, there, there, his favorite comic I would book like of all time. Uh, Anthony I wants would, this original artwork. I want Dennis the Menace, everybody. If you, oh. it, there's a finder's fee sure, sure. and a and a box of dog biscuits if you can find it. Exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hey, my goodness. I didn't draw it. You drew it. Yeah, but that's a hip bone. <laughs> what do you got on your mind? <laughs> we demand share and do remarks, says Jeff uh, Wedding. So there you go. If you make prints, you, you can do a small select set. Oh yeah. What yeah. Up, yeah. Brilliant. Comment, Bill. Who's CJ Design? Uh, yes, he is absolutely <laughs> right. That would be it's very difficult to find, but uh, again, finder's fee. I don't know what the what the reward is, but Anthony has put out an. I'll APB. tell you, the finder's fee will be cold hard cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um bum bum. All right, well, let's get this coin flip uh, out of You're the not way. Not so cold hard cash. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. It's probably warm. Uh, let's see here. Adding the coin flip to the stream, and who gets to decide who goes first? So we have an official mascot. Oh! Oh! Well, just for the sake of alternating, I'll go first. This time. You go first all the time. No, you went you first went last first week. Last time. And I and I like said, I mean, hey, I had a great Monday show. I mean, so you're you go. To you give go. It up to be nice. But I wasn't, uh, you know, I didn't need a flip. I was just going to let you go. Yeah. Oh. But, but you you're going first today. Last, last week. Last week. But Bill gave you the flip. I give you okay. guys the flip every week. So. <laughs> yeah, you give us a flip. Yeah. Yeah, right Very after the show. Mr. Cox. <laughs> Very disrespectful. Uh, all right, so <laughs> Anthony, you are going first tonight, huh? Yes. That's the way I prefer it. Yay. Oh, all right. Yes. Like and Nick Berucci just said 165 watching and only 59 likes. What you know, hey! we, come on, everybody. Get those thumbs up started early. Click the click us click the thumbs up. We make make everybody happy here. We know we can we can reach 150, 180, 200 might not be possible, but we can try, can't we? So all right, let's get this round one underway. Anthony, with your one A artwork. Oh, by the way, I want to do yes. this at some point tonight, maybe during the cake break. Where the I told I was gonna have a drawing and I've got it organized. Oh, that looks I, very organized. Yeah. So these are uh, this is this is from the New Year's Eve show. Yeah. All the claimers, and then that's from last week's show. All the claimers. Uh -huh. So I can uh, do a drawing for these two pieces because uh, I kept forgetting to do it, and I want to do it. Somebody asked me today to remind me. All righty. All right, so uh, that sounds good. We will we'll do it at the cake break, just like you said. I like that idea. Don't yeah. forget, because uh, I haven't noted it here. You're going to have to remember, Anthony. All uh, right, let's get the drawing. This. Yes, yeah. to do the drawing, to do the drawing. To give away. Right. I hope we get to see some sheep later, Sharon. We're let's all about. Oh yeah, we got a we got a gag that, and she might have lost a couple sheep. Oh no. No, oh, they're goodness. right here. One, two, three stuffed all right here we go anthony let's get your 1a artwork on the board all right you know how i like to start with some sharon but now this has got me sharon and little sharon on it oh look at that and it's that. two the pages Valkyrie. everybody the, the thing and valkyrie oh, and a yes. giant hammer uh so valkyrie and little sharon with their little cute feet when they're hello kitty when they were still cute before the ballet and dancing i don't think they were ever cute sorry <laughs> So we got two consecutive pages, page nine and ten from Fearless by Mark Bagley. Woo! Yeah, pages Mark nine Bagley. and ten from issue five. Yep. So I like these. And there's the Sharona and my avatar for this show, the thing, the ever loving brown eyed thing. Yeah. Bagley draws a good thing. So let's see, what do we got here next? Uh, Phil Noto, Harley Quinn. All right. Hey, hey this is really awesome. Another Come fun, on. 
it's color. It's small. So, what, size, what size is this, Anthony? Get your measurements out. Get your hand. Blah, blah. Eight and a half by 11. Yeah, this is really cool. It's nice. It's only $500. By Phil Noto for the, the Harlequin Sharona. Yay. Yay. She's got gray eyes. Ooh. What? She needs green eyes. So, uh, that, that I think she looks great with the gray because the gray is outlining the, the whole thing. Yeah. And it's really cool the color. And all right, I so, love the way that's done. What a cute stand. It is rather cute. All right. Mr. Berkey, over Hello, to you for sir. round one. Go get him, Mike. And oh, and Mike's starting off with a pair of artworks as well. Drawn by oh. Art Believe Baltazar. it or not, folks, these are drawn by Art Baltazar does like kitty books. Believe it or not, Alf Baltazar, professional artist who is the New York Times best-selling Eisner Award-winning and Harvey Award-winning DC artist on Tiny Titans. And he also is the creator and draws Itty Bitty Hellboy. But this is the style. He does all his stuff and it's popular. These are both from 2008. You get two of them for the 300 bucks, Aquaman and Hawkman. And, and that's the style he draws. And and, be, and believe it or not, the stuff sells. But uh, he's a famous Tiny Toons artist also, and that's the style. If you look on the internet, all his stuff is drawn that way. They're both signed by him and both dated from 2008. You get them both for the uh, 300 bucks. Art Baltazar uh, from Tiny, T Tiny Titans Artist. So that's the first one. Second one is really great. You get the full... Check out this Thor splash. Carlo Magno, you get the full pencils on one page, and then you get all the inks on the other. So they're both art, but beautiful semi splash. You even got Captain America in there. Check this out. Hard to see because Bill has it has it uh, cropped there a little bit, but semi splash to Avengers Mech Strike number one, page 10. Thor and Jane Foster, an all out battle with a T Rex dinosaur. At the top, you actually have Captain America running with his shield at the very top of the page. There's Cap running with his shield at the top of the page. And a real nice flash of Thor. And then Jane Foster battling. Get me a Foster's! Jane Foster! Jane Foster, Thor. Regular Thor and Captain America. Semi-splash to the first issue. And again, the full pencil. This belongs in a museum! <laughs> Indeed, right? <laughs> you got them both, folks. Wow, for one price. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it's a nice one. Draws a, draws a nice Thor there. Yeah. Cap, Bill of Thor, and Jane Foster Thor as they're <laughs> battling a mechanized dinosaur. Get me a Foster's. <laughs> Foster's for beer. No, Australian for beer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What, a crocodile Dundee? Yes, yes. Oh, boy. All yeah, right, I'll round two it. over to Anthony. I want we do package deals, folks. Go get a beer, Shaq. Package deals. Go keep, you know. Jane Foster. Foster. All right, Anthony. 2A on the board just for you. A dog animation sale. Oh, from, from my Barbera, Hanna Hanna by Joseph Barbera. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, – which dog was that? I forget which dog was that. But this is signed by the creator – Hanna Barbera. This is Joe Barbera on an animation cell of uh, not Deputy Dog. Who was that guy? That's Who not was Deputy that Dog, dog but that, I don't know that one. I don't so, know, but it's a anyway. Great one. Uh, Joe Barbera signature on a on a on a cell that's uh, matted, so it is a you know definite cell type thing. I'm not sure if it was used or not, but it's like uh, vintage. Uh, cell made out, and then Joe Barbera signature. So I'm just trying to, you know, switch it up a little bit. I love it. Sharon loves Wait, it. What size is that? What size is it? It's like guess my purse for my measure. It's like four by five. Which one? Uh, four by six. Four by six. There you go. Four by six. Let's take a look right. at your next piece of art. Oh, look at it. All right, now this goofy. one's pretty goofy. Yeah. <laughs> pretty goofy but look at this folks oh my How gosh it's that? a jet airplane and he's cooking his hot dog and he's cooking his hot dog this is from super goofy this is a published 25 cent cover wow. for 450 bucks what you 
walk up to me with this and I'd I'd buy this for four fifty. It looks like he's got some long johns on, like some kind of yeah. He's super DJ goofy. That's John. his long. That's so, really awesome. A Twenty five cent comic book. That's like seventy six, seventy seven. Another one I love. That's seventy five. Oh, what's the size, Anthony? Uh, yeah, Actual this is a little size. smaller. Uh, it's like ten by twelve. What do you think? Twelve. Oh. By 10. Oh. Nine, Nine and, and a half. half. Oh. Hulk, what is the size of your artwork? Let's find out. Uh, 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 11 by 17 inches. Every time. Okay, no. <laughs> we yeah, it's off by a half inch. Half inch makes all the difference. It does. It does. All right, round two over to you, Mr. Berkey. We got, we got big, 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 big art. Yes, we do. We got a what a Sunday here of some kind. I mean, if your fans, this is the I've been in this hobby 33 years. This is the first born loser strip I have ever owned. Uh by artist, uh famous artist Art Sansom. Uh, this is from September 29th, 1974. The two main characters of the strip, Brutus Thorny Thornapple and his wife Gladys Hornet Thornapple. Very cool. Very funny strip where Brutus is excited to count the pennies in his penny jar, thinking he'll make some good money because the value of copper has gone up. And she, great, uh, Gladys asks him what the address is for their aunt, and he loses his count. Pretty funny. Strip started May, May 10th, 1965, and went for several years. But really, really cool. And this is large, folks. This is 23 and a half by 16.25 inches. Wow. And you get the whole strip. And very, very funny. That's huge. So that's the first one. Second one. Again, we like big art. And we cannot lie. Beautiful double spread splash. Oh, my Lord. This is all art. Uh, the piece was published from these pencils. Scott Collins from Omega Flight number one pages 16 and 17 there's actually at the top of it you can't see in the top panels there's actually spider there's actually spider woman and captain america at the top of the page right there on files then the wrecking crew entire splash of the wrecking crew busting into canada um this is from the story titled alpha to omega Part One. and again the wrecking crew wrecker thunderball pile driver and bulldozer all leaping into canada then at the bottom, he looks to his right. He goes, "What?" And on the very next page, Sasquatch smashes him in the face. So these are all these are just pencils, right, Mike? Two eleven by seventeen inch artboards, folks. The detail is unbelievable. Signed twice by Scott Collins at the bottom. Pencils Huge only, artboards. but they were they were printed from the pencils. You said they were printed from the pencils because Scott Collins is the artist for every a penciler uh, and inker, so they're inked digitally. There you go. Look Couple at the nice detail on that bad boy. Lots of large art from Mike for his round two pieces. Oh, yeah. All right, Anthony. Round three, sir. Over to you. You okay. ready? <clears throat> I think you, you look ready. I had my, my nice cartoony round. Now I got my bad girl round. Oh, boy. Look out. Bad girls. They're bad. Oh, look. It's evil snaky Sharon. <laughs> She's so snaky in this one. It's uh, uh, Mythology Medusa. Uh, this is a very high detailed commission. What size is that, Sharon? Hey, I don't know. Let me get my hand out. What is it? Nine by 12? Uh, yeah, nine, nine by 12. So uh, Medusa by Tim Vigil, who does awesome, awesome, awesome 12 by nine. Nine by, 12. Nine by twelve with big <laughs> snakes. Oh, she's got cute toes, Sharon. Look, look. Does she? Right. Let me check it out. Uh, All right. So Tim Visual does a the very very high uh, detail commission. Yeah, and snake. Uh, the snake's interested in the snake tattoo on her. That's what I think. Yeah. I don't know. I think the snake wants her 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 beautiful shoes. Yeah, it could <laughs> be that too. Toes. Lots of skulls right. on that one. Yeah, oh, look at this. Look at this one, Shan. Oh, by San Julian himself, Vampirella She's artist. She's on a treasure chest? Yeah, so you know where her treasure lay. All right, so this is 
This is really cool because it's done in a red pencil and uh, by San Julian because, you know, Vampy is just so red and it's bloody. It's not a blue line. Yeah, it's not. It's a red line. <laughs> so get your red line art right here. And this fi figure is about, oh, my God, about 14 inches high. It's art. If you're looking to get hooked on the comic art, come to Creamy Island. <laughs> Love that one. Vampirella just got <laughs> off the treasure chest there on the beach. Yeah. I love that one. Yeah. Get hooked. Get hooked. Get hooked on comic art. <laughs> Arg. Arg. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Round three over to you, Mike. Let's get uh, your Are three. You Walt Simonson fans. This is actually fairly larger. A beautiful green lantern drawn drawn sign from 1999. This is 24 years old. Done on 10.5 by a, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. We're done on 10.75 by 13.75 inch art paper and signed and dated at the bottom. Great image of Green Lantern pointing his fist and powering right at the viewer in a very cool 3D look. Hard to get Walt Simonson art. So there you go, folks. A beautiful. A uh, Green Lantern pinup for you. Holy moly. And again, this, is, this isn't this is one of his recent ones. This is 24 years old. Wow. So that's the first one there. And the second one, for you Spidey fans, the 1990 Spider-Man is going like hotcakes. The great Scott McDaniel, Amazing Spider-Man Annual 26. Spider-Man and Iceman and Namorita throughout the entire page with Nova. Are you kidding me? From 1992, Amazing Spider-Man number 26 from the story titled The Hero Killers, Part 1, Fortune and Steel. This awesome page features Spider-Man in the top two panels with Nova and Namorita all in the bottom five panels as they, as they disarm a bomb underwater. Are you kidding me? And cool use of Zipatone, too, on the side. Randy Spider-Man is going crazy, folks. And just a cool, cool one from the actual Amazing Spider-Man run of annuals. So. Folks, that last piece was a doozy. See, Mike, you don't even have to say that anymore. We have a, we have a meme to uh, I know. What the heck? Care of that. 31 years old, folks. Are you kidding me? Yes, it is. All right, round four over to you, Anthony. Are you done texting? I saw you texting. Yeah. Deal. Business. It's all business. All business. All Sharon! right. Sharon! I'm coming. I need you for uh, this one. All right. All right. What you got? What you got, Anthony? <gasps> all right. I just did a deal with Bill, got some great stuff, uh, and about 50 pieces, actually. So this is a couple of really cool ones. Just uh, saying goodbye to the Christmas time and Christmas spirit of the year. Uh, look, so it's look, a... Look, and, and a, Homer's like an elf. They're all elves. It's a Christmas-themed couch shot from the opening sequence, the famous opening couch sequence of the Simpsons by the creative director and key artist uh, Bill Morrison uh, of the Simpsons and Futurama. And guess where they're sitting? In a gingerbread house, it looks like. Oh eat. my God. You, right? Wow. That's so awesome. Love it. Wow. I just noticed that. They're in a gingerbread house. That yes, is so they cute. Are. It is. It's it's amazingly cute, Anthony. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's great. Who doesn't love Bill amazingly Morrison's artwork? Cute. It's super cute. Want to go to the next one? I don't see a timer. I'm just stuck on this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on that. Here's okay. the next one. Oh, okay, great. I almost had the other one. Here we go. All right, so now this one is really special because this one, he says, uh, it was a uh, it was done for a fine art limited edition sell. Whoa. Look at that. It's got Homer and Bart and uh, Marge, the whole family Is that with Maggie Mo on the on the floor with Mr. Burns and Smithers. Look at that! And this was, uh, you know, this one is done in a, like fine pencil, but this is actually uh, done in ink. 
I want to know what that little kid is doing to the Krusty the Clown doll. <laughs> I, I, he's, yeah. he's. I don't know what character that is. Anybody know what character that is? That I don't is, know what character that, that is. That looks like Maggie with. No, Maggie's Maggie's Maggie, on. Yeah, oh, Maggie's up there. Who is that? So this is a beautiful eleven. Probably what is it? Yeah, eleven by. It's got the cat. It's 16. got the dog. It's got everybody in ah! It does look like the Last Supper. Oh my gosh. Goose says that's fun, though, but I, I, yeah, I I'm not. I think like Tiny Tim and. Yeah, it's Rouge. a great. Uh, bye bye Christmas. That's the last Christmas theme thing you're gonna see from me. There you go. Oh, and, uh, recap. Oh no. Yeah, we'll see in the recap. Mike, did you get a deal done while Anthony was up? It looks like with Nick. I don't think so. Are uh, they uh, Hello, Maggie. Oh, he said okay. I didn't even read that. I'm sorry. Right, that was on 3B. Okay, so Nick got uh, for 900 the uh, uh, the Spidey annual 26 page. All right, thank you, Nick. You have broken the ice, Nick. Yay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you for breaking the ice. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. That's, that's new. Oh, oh, Nick says, no, let's do it at 800, he says. Let, now he's saying, let's meet at 850. Okay, well, I'll keep it at 900 if anybody wants it. I thought you took it. I thought that's what he meant when he, when he said that, too. Sorry, Nick. Misinterpretation. So now you have to play that meme back in reverse. Yeah. yeah. We have to put yeah. the ice back in the Thank uh, you for the melting glacier. the ice, sir. <laughs> what? Unfreezing. It's all good. All right. Yes, we're right. Not back. good. We don't have any colored in spaces yet. We Come need on, to use the highlighter. No, no, we don't. <laughs> All right, Mike. Are you ready? You're ready. We I got a that. twofer again for this Another one. Another twofer. For you Hawkman fans. They're Hawkman pieces here. Check this out. You got a Paul Smith signed and dated from 2002. Very detailed Hawkman pinup. Real nice by the gray. I got this in the same deal, so I wanted to offer these together. Paul Smith from 2002, then a Howard Chaikin pencil and inked, really nice. These were in the same deal, a Hawkman. So you get them both. Uh, the Paul Smith is on 11.4 by 9-inch drawing paper, and uh, the Chaikin is on 11 by 14-inch artboard. You get them both. They're both from 2002. Really cool double Hawkmans. I wanted to show the Paul Smith one because it is it's in pencil, but it's really detailed. He shaded in his legs and some of the wings. Very, very cool piece. I don't know. I don't, I don't think Paul Smith does a whole, whole lot of lot of drawing, uh, especially drawing. So I just thought it's sort of cool to offer them both since I got them both together. So, yep. And there's a close very, up. Very, the there you go. Bill shows them nicer. So you get the pair there, folks, on that deal there. All right. And the other piece? And the other piece for you, Superman fans, beautiful, published, full splash. Superman number 582, splash page. Awesome page from Superman Arkham, part two, crazy about you. Superman flies past Arkham Asylum as bullets bounce off him, bounce off his body. Very, very cool. Full splash by Mike Miller, inked by the great Jose Marzon Jr. from the year 2000. This is 23 years old. And uh, signed at the bottom, of course. From the year 2000. Very, very cool. Full splash. Got to love hey, that hand. And everybody in the chat's hungry for tacos now. I don't know why. Maybe we're not going to have a cake break tonight. Somebody's got to do How a about taco. An taco. Art burrito. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, uh, the the five layer burrito myself. So if anybody's going out, please you know pick pick me up a pair of those. That'll well, I can. Nice I, I there's one over. on the way home from work yeah, for me I if think you want. There wanna... was a robot. Yeah, we're, well, we're only about 18 hour drive apart, so it can't you can't be the one to pick those up for me. No, <laughs> hey, it's, better than, it's better than the sex bots in the chat, everybody. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, why all is right, it conversational. Why is it what? What Taco Bell? Huh? Well, I mean, is that a person or is that it's of course a, it's, it's a, a person? They're just Somebody having fun, you know, they can change their name. I mean, it's the power of the internet. You can be, you could be anybody you want tonight, Anthony. If you want, you can just go change your name and pop in there. I just like being a better version of myself. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. We all right. I I, I got nothing uh, back to uh, yeah on that I one. So nothing, yeah, yeah, I don't. I you don't. bring out the best in me, Bill. I do. I know that. 
I, I I know that. All right, so uh, round five, we're going to the two thousand dollar less, and we oh haven't we God. haven't we oh, haven't God. broken the ice yet. Now, Dino Mauricio is hungry for some nacho fries. So, oh, yeah, I gotta lay off the carbs. <laughs> Come on, Dino, lay off those carbs. <laughs> All right, round five over to Anthony. Here is your five A artwork by Kevin West. Look at this, All Guardians right, of the Galaxy. This is my Marvel page. round. We got some Marvel. Look at this, nice nice guardians of the galaxy splashy splash yeah flying uh that's starhawk right starhawk and i believe so goblin oh the line work i'm i'm just yeah. amazed by the motion so, like this is a moving piece like it whoosh, look at that wow yeah a lot of uh you know flying action in this one and uh it's by kevin west and Steve Montano from the Guardians of the Galaxy. And, uh, you know, that's still, that's a relevant, it start, that, you know, they, he was rumored to be like, uh, 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 you know, what's his face, his dad at one time. So it's a relevant character. Oh, I love it. It's a really uh, nice page. It's... And what do we got here? We've got a pair of pages from Iron Man Annual 9. Oh, yeah. So this is like, I got two. At least consecutive. No, no it's uh, 33 and 36. Like, they're, they're a couple pages apart, actually. But this is here, Sharon. Look, it's got the space shuttle on it. It's really cool. Oh, my yeah, dad was boom. like this. And, uh, Hi, Dad. Well, Iron Man and space shuttle and this chick called Stratos Fire. She's like uh, Captain Planet trying to protect the Earth. Oh, yeah. And uh, what's fun... Uh, What's neat is uh, Sharon's dad actually worked on the space shuttle situation uh, as far as environmental impact to see if it was going to hurt the crops in Florida from the all the exhaust. Yes. So yeah, he's got a he's got a, a fondness for the space shuttle project. Boy, the guys have been giving me crap for so long about not having art on my walls. I got to get started right now. Oh, gee, oh, ow. Step aside, Billigan. Let me show you how a professional gets it done. Thanks a lot, Thor. <laughs> you guys wanted out on the walls. I had a call a professional. Yeah. What's that? You should have said, now you have a beautiful picture of uh, the outside. So, what happened? Uh, the ice has been broken now. Oh, I was texting. I didn't see it. You're always texting. Thank you, Kaiser. I do have a nice yard. Uh, and you'll get to see it on the 11th. But um, all right. So Comic Art Boston picked up the 3B for Mike for $900. I saw that going on in the chat. So congratulations to Comic Art Boston. Yay. We appreciate that. Rebroken. The, the ice has been rebroken. Hooray. No, to hear Mark is it's talking. the re re. Oh, thank you for breaking the eyes. Yay! Hey, we it's got a double. Show. Yay! I have an idea for that meme. Uh, let me uh, remind me later. Make a note. Make, Make a note. A note. Here, right, yeah. you I'll go along. I'm making notes on memes. All right, Mr. Berkey, back to you for round five. Is it really round five? You just yes, sold something. It is. So here's your five A. You're going to love this one, folks. Published card art, Graham Nolan, inked by Scott Hand. And there's the published card right there from the 1994 Skybox Batman Saga of the Dark Knight. This is card number 82, titled Nightfall, Fear Equals Rage. Beautiful, drawn on 9 by 12 inch artboard with the Joker and the Scarecrow laughing behind a very, very upset, fist-wielding, screaming, he looks like the Hulk, Batman. Very, yeah, very that's cool, a good one. folks. I love Graham Nolan Inc. by Scott Hanna. Very, very cool piece. I love mm -hmm. the I love the scarecrow holding the he, he ripped that off of the Punisher's belt chest. How did he rip off the Punisher's chest plate? Oh my god. <laughs> so anyway, that's the first one. And 29 years old. Theme, uh, the second one got another 9.8 Dark Knight 3, the Master Race number one. <laughs> A 9.8 CGC copy with a uh, full detailed pencil drawing up. Well, as, as 
detailed as Frank Miller does it. A drawing of the Batman on it. But the cool thing is it's a 9.8 copy CGC sealed, folks. <laughs> Trying to angle it so it's the best it could be. So so there you go. So that's my Batman round. Frank Miller. I said I just did a deal this week. I had three of these. <laughs> Three Miller sketch covers on my website. Sold them all last week. Every one of them. I wish I had more space to hang all my comic art. I'll help you get more space. Boy, we're going to be doing some remodeling, Mike, you and I. Yeah, we should have another line after that. Yes, oh, we should. it's all green now <laughs> it's from like, the trees. <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, Michael Diaz had a very good idea. How about breaking a giant block of ice and Captain America pops out saying thank you for breaking the ice? I like oh, that. Yeah, that's great, yes. Bill. You got to wear your, your cat mask again. Yeah, you'd love for me to put that damn that Captain America mask, mask back on. <laughs> we got to get I, people in the comments asking Bill to wear his cat mask for an entire show. That thing is so awesome. It, it is. Uh, it's an uncanny. I gave you that mask as a gift, too. I know. Well, you, and the shield, too, signed by Stan Lee right in the, the middle Stan, of signed it. Signed Stan Lee shield, yep. Look nice. at that thing. Oh, boy. All right. And uh, and, and I did I get that text. I don't know if you can that mask. I, can't I want to see the mask. What what am I missing? Oh, it looks like a gift in the mask. Every Yeah. Marcus will be laughing the whole show. It's, it's a great mask, dude. You'll laugh. It, it's so perfect for Bill. Remind me, I forgot. Can you? Uh, there's an image. There's a couple images of you wearing it. Isn't there a couple of memes of you wearing it? I got him to do it. <gasps> I'm not putting it on. Put it oh, on. Come on. It's all it's pretty, just fine. Can you just imagine? Put it on. Movie worthy. I got to pull put put my on. ears out of the dang thing. It's just, it's, put your hair back. Like, come no, on. No, no. That's all you get today. Sorry. Oh, you got to start posting on the comments. Just a looky. Ear holes. We don't need no stinking ear holes. <laughs> That's right. No, I literally, I have to put that thing on like 10 times before it even gets close enough to being able to be worn. I'll have hair sticking out the ear hole. I mean, it's a mess. It probably that piece looks perfect on I'll you, wear right? it. Send it to mm. me. I don't have any hair to get in the way. That is true. Yeah, right. If you get to 200 likes tonight, I'll wear it next episode, uh, next show, next week, the whole show. But if we don't have 200 likes oh, by the, end of, on, the end of the show, I will, uh, you know, then it doesn't happen. How's that? And we're 200 likes. 200 likes. Well, let's make it watching the show right now. Oh, so, oh, Alberto, five dollars would not do it. It's that bad. Uh, it, it's we got to have Bill wear that the whole show, dude. It'll be so funny. Right. Well, you're going to have to drum up 200 likes before the show's over. All right. Round six. Round Wait, how many people six. are watching right now, Bill? 245. Come on. We got to go for 300 likes because. <laughs> yes, exactly. I got to make some phone calls, get that number up. Make it 300. <laughs> Andy says he'll come down for the uh, 20th calf anniversary and uh, shave my head, basically, to get that mask on. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll figure something out. But all right, only I shave my head on camera. There is a chance to get to 200 likes yeah. by the end of the show, not after the show, not tomorrow. Uh, by the end of the show, when we Come sign on, up. Folks, right. we need it. round round six. Uh, over to you, Mr. Snyder. Where all right, this is my DC 70s round. Oh my oh, goodness, Look Gil Kane that. here. Yes, a Gil Kane Hawk and Dove. Hard to find Hawk and Dove art with. <gasps> Hawk action. Hawk is the guy who likes the war, likes the you know, beating up bad guys. And then Dove is like doing some research because <laughs> he's passive, passive and aggressive. All right. That's the Hawk and the Dove. These guys were used really cool in Justice League Unlimited. So I like And this is a Gil Kane, classic Gil Kane. You got to have, you know, you got to have your nostril shot on every page. Nostrils. Nostril shot. That's oh, true. <laughs> you always got to look up his nostrils. That's cool. No one drew nostrils quite like Gil. Oh my God, he was a nostril guy. Now you got this Jim Apparel Brave and the Bold one. Look at this, and it's got a slap on it. Shan slapping her big galoot. Ow! 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 
All right, so this is from 1977. Look at that. Batman, Gordon, got this uh, Chicky Poo that... Uh, Somebody's playing the violin. A squ uh, yeah, and then he... There's a, a Greek a Greek uh, genius uh, reference of Pythagoras. He says, the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two squares. And then he gets a slap. But he plays the violin in between. I thought Batman was the only one doing the slapping in that book. Hmm? I said, I thought Batman only did sla the slapping in that book, but I guess not. Mm. <laughs> Nick Berucci's got a countdown going on. 67 likes to the Captain America mask. Oh, mask. <laughs> oh boy. Boy, you'll be so happy, Berkey, if it happens. He's not even paying attention. I was talking about. Oh. <laughs> Really uh, Batman on he's it. like texting all his friends go do the thing and i saw somebody we'll count the facebook uh likes as well uh, well so we'll get a final count when the show ends i promise i know or, my, or i could tell you gwen will because i think she wants to see me in it now too thanks berkey all right round six <laughs> over to you talking. yeah yeah all right here's something a little different check this out folks beautiful james ryman uh who's a professional artist uh, out of the uk this is a published online gaming book uh, for Pax Nora called Spider Demoness. Let me try to angle this just right. Beautiful piece drawn edge to edge on 15 by 18 inch thick artboard. Beautiful painting featuring this half sexy woman and half spider creature. Thank goodness the spider creatures from the waist down. As she holds a spear and watches several spiders hatch from their eggs below with two skulls stuck on her abdomen and skulls throughout the spider eggs in the cave. But James Ryan, James Ryman uh, draws the map. He's drawn works including Magic the Gathering, World of Warcraft, TCG Warhammer, Marvel licensing, Fantasy Flight Games, and Heavy Metal Magazine. He's drawn for all those companies. But beautiful. I'm going to try to do it close. Beautiful, beautiful, very large. That is a gorgeous uh, painting, painting. Of a What's grizzly that, character. Now, oh, very oh my. Very beautiful, God. big, large piece. And it's published for online games. George pieces. Perez with a uh, Wonder oh Woman my. in distress. Apparently. Check out the detail on this piece, folks. Oh, my Lord. By the great George Perez. Are you kidding me? Beautiful, beautiful, detailed, mixed-media Wonder Woman pinup. This is not a show drawing. This is a detailed commission. Beautiful, full-body image of Wonder Woman sitting in a chair in total bondage as her calves, thighs, waist, neck, and mouth are all bound. <laughs> with her arms all tied behind her backs. Then after the body was penciled in ink, he even penciled her entire body in different shades of gray. Artist drawn on 9 by 12 inch artboard and is signed dated by the great George Perez. Wow. Well, there you go. <laughs> Interesting my, round, Mike. This was my sexy round. Anthony had his Christmas round. I had a Batman around. This is who, my who knew spiders sex. could be that. I had a bad girl round. Inky. I had yes. the Jim Vigil and the uh, San Julian. You always have one of those. Uh okay, and, and and technically, I yes, Jill and Alex have uh, convened, and they say that uh, makes no sense because Wonder Woman is only powerless when she's in chains, so ropes shouldn't be able to hold her. However, that could be a golden lasso that just extended. It's possible. Uh, well, that's true to the originator. She was tied up in every issue of the comic book back in the day. <laughs> 54 likes to the cat Are mask. Are you kidding me? Come on. 54. We got to get this, folks. We got to. Yeah, somebody was calling Taco Bell for help. We need to, We need some uh, some additional <laughs> new members here on the chat to uh, push us over that wonderful amount. Uh, all right. Well, let's keep this thing rolling. Round seven over to you, Anthony. All righty. All righty. What do we got here from Anthony? Oh, Jack we have out. a Conan round. Conan. Look at this. All John Buscema page. Action. Fighting a guy with a monster arm. Look at this. Regular 11 by 17 page. Great John Buscema. Pencils and inks. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's like, 
That panel could be used as the avatar for John Masema Conan art ever. All of it. All of it. Gah! Wow, wow, you can do a dramatic reading. Yeah. It's, yeah. You want to see me gorgeous. in a loincloth? Is that what you want? No. I, okay. You could be the, the uh, guard in the background on that last panel. The... Uh, the uh, yeah okay so this this next one that's is a good one now you got this Pablo Marcos amazing Pablo Marcos inside cover this is published guys Savage Sword seventy three cover two that means that was the inside pinup the inside cover pinup it's got a nineteen eighty one stamp on the back nineteen eighty one look at the detail on this. It's got a big one-eyed monster, Sharon. Woo! Cool. And then a chicky poo with the sword and the Valkyrie. And look, I got Conan in chains. Oh, Conan. Wow, but this is real. You smell what I'm selling. <laughs> what was I doing? Do you smell you were, what I'm you, selling? You were doing a rock riff. I thought Sharon <laughs> farted or something. What? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. But a uh, very nice Pablo Marcos piece here, Anthony. Very, okay. very nice. This is amazing. This is wall-capable art. Look at all that detail and the, like, burner thing. and The burner thing. Yes. Burner thing. Mike is pl pleading with the audience. 200 likes. We've only got 251 we people watching. Round. It's, it should be easy. Last Look round at that one-eyed monster. <laughs> I don't know. It says it says forty eight likes to two hundred now. Wow! So uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, cleft Chinovision. I love it. Cleft Chinovision. You got that right, Kazra. All right, round seven over to you, Mike. What did you bring? Round oh seven. my this goodness! Is the first time what? I brought an Archie, but I love it. Beautiful Silver Age, uh, Dan DiCarlo pencil art. I love it because of the James Bond theme. Check this out. We even got the, I even found the published image to show everybody. From Archie's Pals and Gals, number 36, the beautiful Veronica's pinup from 1965, 58 years old. Right. Uh, beautiful features a James Bond theme as Archie and Veronica leave the movie theater from, she was called Gina Blonde, who is shown beating up three men in a bikini and in a, Aaron, go put in a your Josie in the Pussy on. Cats outfit. And that, the cookie caper. Beautiful scene of Gina Blonde beating up three men in the post. It's a great piece signed by the great Dan DiCarlo. This is large art, folks, from 1965. Very, very cool piece. So that's the first one. Second one, Anthony sold his Alex Saviak last week. It was a great one for four grand. Here's a doozy one. Spider-Man in every panel with Iceman and Jarvis and Agent Carter. Beautiful page from the story titled 1990. We're talking 33 years old. The story titled Cold Hands, Warm Art. How fitting is that? Part three. Spider-Man is in five out of five panels. Iceman in four out of the five panels. And we got Jarvis and Agent Carter in four panels as a gang gets ready to confront the heroes. Very, very cool page. Hulk, smash that like button. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, there you got four likes, just right there. Wow. Mike. What are we up to? I have no idea. I can't watch uh, the stream. Anybody out there? Like that you really you well come here, you're watching. Try to hit that like button. You gotta. It's no. important. It's we important. need Billigan wearing that cat mask on <laughs> yes. the show. Oh boy, breaking the ice man claim. Yeah, I like that one too, Jay Marie. Oh, they're breaking the ice, man. Mm -hmm. We're at one. I need to break the ice. Come on. Okay, yeah. Anthony sent me an idea. He said Hulk breaks the ice, then falls through the hole and drowns. What? <laughs> That's. <laughs> Why do you want him dead? There would be. Just, you know, I'm just. You know, come on, folks. We need 42 more. Let's go. We need those lights. I'll just wake him, you know, 60 years later or something, Mike. Don't worry. All right. Oh, 40. yeah. Yeah. He falls into the ice and like freezes. Well, we need 40. 
two more likes. There are 249 people watching across, and, and, and we're not counting Facebook, so there's got to be a few likes over there. So we're probably getting close, but we're not quite there. Oh, All right, one round right, until cake break. Like button. <laughs> one round until cake neighbor? break. Ah! Anthony, you get to start us off for round eight, and what do we got here? Oh, it's going to be a pair of covers for round yeah, eight. Yeah, I got to like it. This is my cover round. Breaking oh. the rules on the price range, but that's all right. What, what was this round? It's all, all right. it's 2000 and under on eight. That's eight all under. good. No, it's it all good. If 1000, 2000, 3000 unlimited, right? No, it's always been 1000, okay. 2000, and then anything goes, but it's okay. Sell it, Anthony. The clock hasn't started. Exactly. You're like, you got, you're on free time right here, man. All right. So I got a Deadpool number seven dark variant where he's like, venomized or zombieized or all of the above and this is by the great tony daniel and you got some more skulls lots of heads to step on and break with his battle axe and crazy weapons there's again another nice wall quality variant cover deadpool cover to go on your wall right yeah, yeah. Who doesn't like Tony Daniel? Isn't uh, anybody know Ryan Reynolds? Maybe he wants one. Arrgh. He's too busy making Mint Mobile money right now. Mint Mobile commercials. And next up, this Raphael Albuquerque Deadpool cover. Ah, look at Twenty-eight hundred dollars on this. This is beauty. framed in this big, heavy frame. This came from a gallery. This guy was selling in a gallery and. Sold me some stuff. Look at that, Raphael Albuquerque. Fun Deadpool cover. He's shooting these targets in a shooting gallery, and one of them's him. Look at that. That's all black and white wash art. So, and then colored over that. But this is like a final presentation of black and white art. Looks amazingly great. So that this comes framed in this massively like this it must have cost at least two hundred dollars to frame this this is metal this is brushed brushed uh metal hey i just checked facebook everybody there's 11 thumbs up over on facebook right now so so you can take that oh, we off. only get to go to 189 and you have you to only need to hit 189 technically oh uh at the moment oh boy all right well all right. nice pair of uh deadpool covers there Anthony. All right, somebody make me an oh, offer. Beautiful. I don't want to go to zero at the recap. God. Yeah, that's a good idea, Kazra. That that would be right up Chris's alley, wouldn't it? Uh, very very wall trophy ish. All right, Mike, round eight over to you, and then we get to see what cake Sharon has baked for us all this round evening. Eight, we got and some good. Sal Busema, oh, Ron. It's a doozy one, folks. It's a doozy. I just got it in this week. Check this out, Bronze Age Rom page. Beautiful rampage with the Space Phantom and the Dire Race. Are you kidding me? From 1981, 42 years old from the story titled Limbo. In the previous issue, uh, Rom had his own neutralizer used on him accidentally by Kitty Pride, and he got sent into Limbo. So Rom has accidentally been banished into Limbo as he, as he battles Dire Race. And his best friend is actually taken over by the Space Phantom, as you can see him there at the bottom. The Space Phantom is taken over his best his best friend, Karis. But just a great, great rampage with the Space Phantom, who first appeared in, yes, Avengers number two, folks. You knew that. And we have Dire Race and Rom all over it. Great page. All right. And the clock hasn't started, I'm Mike. So. Just go for crazy money. Get a, get a nice early rampage from the second year, folks. And the next piece, this is great. I sold a way, way lesser one for $2,400 last year. I just got in from the same story. Batman and Superman in every panel from this great Keith Giffen. Next to last issue, World's Finest, 322, page 19. Great 1985 page from this next to last story titled Double Trouble. This uh, Again, Batman and Superman are literally each in every single panel. Ten Panels. Are you kidding me? And this very sentimental story as Batman must bail the mob and allow Superman to die. And Superman tells Batman, you have to let me go and you have to let me die. Very emotional page if you read all the words to it. Batman knows that Superman is... 
that is the decision that could mean Superman's death. And it's actually signed at the bottom by writer John Zimmerman back in 1986 at the bottom. Just a great... Hey, Bill, tell the folks out there that they're never going to find a doozy like that one. Ay ay ay! Wow, I thought those were two doozies. They are. They're both very nice. We got a lot of doozy quotient going on here tonight. Yeah, what's up with that? A lot of doozy quotient. Somebody said there's uh, how many likes are over there? Sixteen likes over on Facebook. So yeah, <laughs> Bill jumped. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy uh, a, a six. We need or fourteen more, folks. We need 14 more. Hold on, hold on. Let me post this. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, uh, we know what time it is, right? Uh, what time is it? Where is that? Uh... Jared, Vanessa, torture the Ramita man in your own special way. <laughs> Hello, Spider-Man. Does this look good to you? Does it? Does it? Well, no cake for you. <laughs> Here you go, sweetheart. Oh. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. That is funny. There you oh, go. Well, so it's cake break time. Sharon. Sharon, did you see our cake break? You had a great cackle in it and everything. Yeah, great cackle. She didn't have time to cook this week. I saw you address that question Folks, too. We seven about the, more, seven the, the, more to reach two hundred. Between the two, right? Yes. All right. I'm I'm so glad you're happy. <laughs> anyway, Frank, yeah, if you could do five hundred even on the Tim Vigil, let me know. That mask. All right, so it's so cake funny. break time. It's cake break time. For you to wear that mask no. for two plus hours is worth it next week. I didn't have a lot of time today, so um, if Anthony wins, he gets to have some cake. Some wow. steak cake. Steak cake. Oh, man. That looks uh, almost ready to throw on the grill. It's Look at that. Even, yeah. even this is edible. What is? This. I made edible cellophane? plastic wrap. <laughs> edible cellophane. That's right, Anthony. And the cake is chocolate cake. Chocolate ganache and chocolate uh, meat. Chocolate meat. <laughs> Give me a knife chocolate and fork, meat. Sharon. I'm hungry. And if you do really well tonight. Oh, if I do really well, if I come back in the in the in the recap, what do I get? It's it's lamb chops because Holy I'm moly. mostly Greek and. I have to get my lamb chop quotient every week and wow. because I love meat. And those are some lamb choppy cakes. And you oh can my eat God. that. It's red velvet. <laughs> nice oh marble. So if I win tonight, I get to eat the marbled <laughs> lamb chops. Lamb what? Chops. Oh, a little bit. And so poor. That's why she dressed like little Bo Peep because she lost her sheep. You didn't oh. lose them. Too bad, little lamb. That little lamb sheep is lost. Um, you can't eat it yet. I can't. It don't taste good. It looks really gross. I can't have a it bite. It taste good. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard for me to make these. It's, I don't it, eat meat lately. Yeah, she's been a veggie vegetarian. <laughs> now, wait a minute. This is edible? The cellophane. That, the cellophane is edible. The, the take, take a bite, Anthony. Because I don't have a printer, a sugar printer. What do you mean? But that is edible. That is, it's made out of animal. Oh, animal. <laughs> <laughs> it's gelatin. Oh, gelatin. Yeah. Yeah. That's made out of marrow or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> absolutely so fabulous, right there. And a knife and fork. Oh, I got the knife. Arr. Oh, and this, it looks like it's like a container, but it's made out of chocolate. Oh. This is um, chocolate. Is okay. White chocolate. Everybody. Even the tray. The tray is edible. Yeah, eat the tray. Eat the tray. Eat the tray. Yeah. 
It's all right. It's fun, Don, but it's all right. <laughs> it's if not you fun like done. sweet Play Doh, dude, it's not fun. <laughs> That's white chocolates. Oh, it's no, it is white chocolate. 22 likes on Facebook, everybody. So I don't oh, know man, where we, we're at on 22 on Facebook. We did it. We did it. <laughs> I hope you're all proud of yourselves. <laughs> the entire show. Well, we're going to have to work on some cat memes for next week, scale. too, to make it worth I only get a bite of lamb I chops. I my hands. I'm not going to touch anything until mm. I wash my hands. If I win, I get some everybody. lamb so chops. Proud of you. Yes, and if we uh, and if Mike wins, we'll play this oh, lamb chop okay. video. Oh. All right, so this was this was. Oh, that's right. Uh, do I your wanna, winner thing. Going. You want to do this real quick? D yeah, do it real quick. How yeah, you gonna? Okay, I, I don't so know. How, oh, you got to throw them all in the hat. Everybody that uh, claimed uh, something from me for New Year's. All going into the hat. Going into the hat. All right, so the winner. So the winner gets this. This awesome one, it's page. got Sharon, and it's got some topless, and it's got. Jesus. All right. So that's the. And there's even a sketch on the back of that. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. And it's a, a sketch by Mark Texera of his. Uh, I think this is a creator owned character that he did. All right, Sharon. Wait a shake minute. Shake it up. Shake it up. All right. Reach in there and grab one. Oh, boy. Captain America time next week, everybody. Next right. week. I'll try to have some Captain America art next week then. Also. Matthew. Matthew. Oh, boy. <laughs> Matthew wins this one. Yay! Matt, who won? Who won? Matthew. Matthew DeTulio or I Tullio? think so. Oh, but right. yeah, let me can if you claimed on the New Year's Eve show and your name's Matthew, you won. Okay. I know Matt uh, has picked up a few pieces of late, so that's right? what I figured. All yeah, right, and the other one. You want to do the other, other one? Well, you, yeah, you should be Hurry. get it. Get it. Oh, Let's do it so go. we can go, go, keep go. this thing rolling. Okay. So oh, this one, uh, this one was more, uh, on this more, one. more, and look at the reveal. Oh, I decided to put in this, this, uh, um, I'm gonna mix Russ Braun, <laughs> Russ Braun. I thought you were going to say all Bucky. the names of people. Here, pick this guy. He got mad at me. So pick that Bucky guy. Is like oh, being that guy. Robin. Bucky, was he better? <laughs> pick that guy. So he's not mad at me. Dude. All right. Oh, boy. All right, all right. Yeah, this is uh, it's gonna be a great show next week, everyone. All right, close your eyes. Wait a minute. What? What is this? Why do we have? Do Let me mean? get out of this screen. I can't see. You can't okay. see. Okay. There all you right. Work. So now this one, I got a Russ Braun page, and like these people are blowing up like fireworks. So it's like an extended New Year's New Year's Eve show. Kablamo! Happy New Year's. Yes, Woo! Kablamo! Happy New Year. All right, pick one. Like this one. And the winner is. Don't say Matthew. Oh my God. I can't read his writing. That's so funny. Be... Sean Clancy. She picked Pink. the right one. <laughs> All right. Sean Clancy. That is. If he's in the audience, he's on Facebook tonight. Yay! Oh, yeah, Sean. So I got this page for you for free in the drawing. That's so funny. Uh, I can't believe it. That is funny. All right, round nine over to you, Mr. Snyder. All right, let me get these you uh, ready. This, uh, what, I got to do a round now? You got to do you a better, round now. After oh. all, all that screen time. Hey, hey, we, to the we better make sure Albert Alberto is watching next week's show for your Captain America gig. <laughs> yeah, I'll have some Captain America. Yes, I think we should bring a lot of Captain America art next week. All right, Alex so. Moreno, how did you know? I have Dum Dum Dugan's uh, uniform from uh, Captain America. I bought it in an auction. Right. I have the whole uniform. Thank you, Matt, uh, for that. For, we're, we're glad you won the raffle, and I'm glad you're super excited to see me in a cap ma mask next week. For the entire show. For the entire show, yes. Oh, it's <laughs> next week? You're not going to put it on now? No. We're All right, so I got week. this Greg Land and Jay Lyston, Mighty Adventures 10 Splash, and it's kind of a recap page. Uh, I, I mean, it's cover quality. I actually thought it was a cover. Maybe they used it. So this is kind of recaps the Watcher and uh, the What If. What if number one was What If Spider-Man had joined the Fantastic Four? And then you have the great uh, homage to the What If uh, Jane Foster had claimed the hammer at Thor. And what else? Uh, what else I got here? Uh, 
Uh, I don't know what else. Those are the two main stories I got out of this one. So this is a really great wall quality piece. That's a watcher, and and we see that he's got watcher friends. He's got a lot of watcher friends, like the guardians of the universe or whatever. Wow, that's good work. Jay Lyston, I rep, but uh, this one I bought back in the deal. All right. (laughs) All right, and next up, this uh, complete six-page story. Yeah, time. this one is crazy good. Uh, I don't get a lot of this uh, guy's art. And Harry Lucy story, a complete story. Oh, my goodness. I had to outdo the Bergster with his pinup. I got a whole story of Harry Lucy, the skinny Archie artist. Woo! Look at this. All large art from 1958. 1958. And, of course, who's it got on it? Anthony, uh, is it you? Goofy looking Sharon. All right. It's an Anthony. <laughs> he does kind of have your chin, Anthony. Which one? Okay. Yeah, Arch dad? Time. What? Yeah, oh, look at this page. He has oh, way more wow. hair than Anthony. <laughs> he does. <laughs> On the sides, I mean. I have Captain side. America movie props. What do you want? I got a bunch of them. How did this come up? I'm the guy that has them all. I have three whole uniforms. I got guns. I got hydro blasters. I got grenades. All all made out of PVC. You got to bring them to the show next week. Look at that. I love this page. Pow. It's got whap Whap and slap on it. And pow. Some girl's beating Archie up. Look at that. He was hard to find. Harry, weak guy. A well-worn drink up there, Mr. Berkey. All right, round nine over to you, Mike. That's actually how they make them. Oh. All right. Well, I made my dishwasher did it. Nine A. What do we have? Fans, check this out. The great climactic battle scene that finishes the story of this great story. Jack Kirby and Mike Royer are fighting forces number 153, page 18. I sold page 17 on this. I'm sorry, this is page 17. Sorry, I made a mistake on that. I sold page 18 last on, on a couple shows back. This is page 17. But this is where they kill. Uh, Hitler is in the story also. But really cool. From this, from the 1974 story, uh, Big Max. Great story of the losers blowing up and finally destroying Hitler's new high-tech weapon called Big Max. Look at the bomb they drop on him. Rest in peace, Big Max. It's big, big machine. On this, and, and, and it's all because of this science fiction nerd soldier, Rodney Rupkin, who reads comics and pulp magazines. And they create this, this better weapon called the Devastator to trick the uh, to trick Hitler and them. And then they, they win and drop the bomb on the, the, the Big Macs and destroy it. Womp. What else we got? Uh, oh, we got a ba ba room boom 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 Oh, pom, 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 pom. Look at that. So that's the first one, folks. Almost 50 years old. This last piece is great. Check this out. Published piece. This is unbelievable from J. Anna Clino's book. Uh, let's see. Let me find the page. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Check this out. Uh, from is Published in his 2011 book called Hat Trick. But check out this. This is actually done in pencils and published. From the book, this pin of features Spider-Man, and you don't even notice the Green Goblin is right there on the right side in the reflection, uh, throwing a pumpkin bomb at Spider-Man. It's awesome. Full body shot of Spider-Man swinging along the skyscraper as the Green Goblin is seen on the glass smiling, holding his second pumpkin bomb after his first pumpkin bomb is just smashed into the window. Artist drawn on 17 by 11 in chart board and signed at the bottom left. It really doesn't get much better than this, folks, if you want something amazing public. Signed and dated by Jayanna Cleto. And again, Folks, you, get- you don't have to stick your tongue on a pole during wintertime to find a triple dog doozy. Just follow the show. You get the magazine. There you go, Anthony. Another doozy just for you. Another doozy. Very doozy-ish tonight. Yeah, you get, oh, it is. And Oh, the magazine is signed and dated by Gianna Cleto that it's in. You get the magazine with the art also. 
Very nice. I mean, you got to do a bunch of claiming memes there. Right, Anthony. Look at that goblin right there at the top. See him? I could see him. I saw him in the reflection. Yep. Very, very cool. Wow. What a piece of art. Holy Toledo. It's, it is great. I love, I, Jay, Jay's been somebody uh, who I've always oh, admired his yeah. pencil work. Definitely for sure. All right. So, uh, Anthony, round 10 over to you, sir. Round 10. Don't look so sad. Okay. You got you got an offer. It's just, you haven't got it sold yet. I said you got that offer earlier on that uh, Vigil piece or Vigil piece. I, I, he, I got what's your best price, Anthony? And I told him and I haven't heard back. Uh, All right, so uh, I'm not worried. I had to, one of the best days today from the website, so I'm I'm really in a great mood. I'm not gonna let this spoil me. I'm gonna re 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 recap it tonight. Re, baby. Re, 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 re. All right, well, let's get you started with your 10A cover here. By if you guys want uh, Captain America props? I can send you pictures, but you got to email me directly. I. I will forget uh, after. So this one I got Ramona Freight and Bob Smith Super Friends cover. Look, Sharon. Wonder Twin Powers activate. Activate. Form of. A bucket of water. Form of. An eagle. No, shape of. Yeah, shape of. All right. Yeah, shape of. So we got the origin of the Wonder Twins and it got a Super Friends. I love that. Why are you selling that? Oh, no. Sharon wants to keep it. All right, no, so she's it's got all right. She's, I've got so much we we don't have room on our wall. She's up there in an evil lizard lizardy thing. Uh, all right, and then she's got a ponytail down here. It's got a ponytail. Uh, Aww, what a great page! Uh, yeah, by the great Ramona Fraden. She's like ninety five years old now and still drawing. It's it's amazing. All right, so the origin of the Wonder Twins. Yep. And oh. next piece. Look at all these covers I got. Covers, covers. All right, now this one is another doozy. A, let's see. We got another published DC cover by Ross Andrew. My favorite Spider-Man artist. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, I'll be Andrew Man. All right. And then this Neutron, the man with his nuclear punch. Wow. And a defeated Superman in a demolished metropolis. From 1983? Yep. <gasps> I've won. I've won. <laughs> Have you been drinking too much Asgardian ale like me? Why don't you claim some art already? Uh. 12 likes to 200 on uh, YouTube, but there are 22 likes over on Facebook. So we are at 210 likes for the show tonight. Oh, can you it's post Stanley's uh, post, Bill? Stanley's post. Is Mike or Anthony attending Bill's meetup? Uh, yes, they are. I'm planning on going and, if I can. So. And Sharon is coming too. Yeah. So if you anybody has any wants, uh, you well, know, let me know and I'll bring them. I because said, I'm not bringing a lot of art. Yeah, I'm flying too. So if anybody has wants, you got to email me and I'll bring anything. But yeah. I can only bring what I could carry. So so it's exactly. a, an ask for a meetup as far as the art's concerned because it's more social, right, Bill? That is right. It's a I can't social. go anywhere with 30 collectors and not try to throw us to know if you're going to make lamb chops. Uh, oh, we'll I'll bring my own. Chops. You know, we'll I saw a pig with wiggly and get some lamb chops. We did get asked earlier, and I, I kind of forgot. Gerd had asked if we could show the, that uh, piece by Tim again. So I'll just show it one last time before we get to the recap. Uh, and where were you at on this piece, Anthony? Even though Frank I said told it's four fifty for the Medusa. You did told Frank four fifty. Frank says it's under consideration. So there it is again for everybody. Just Anybody else one in the, last in the chat? That's that's one is at four fifty. Let me know with offers. What was that, Mike? That's supposed to be Medusa. Yeah, it's Medusa mythology. Medusa. Oh, her hair ain't snakes. Yeah, her hair is a snaky snake. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, she does oh, oh and, and with the hair. Okay, I'm sorry. I little those are just little it's braids. serpentine, Sharon. 
There, there you go. Eight see. likes to 200 here Not on uh, all YouTube. All right, Mike, let's get you going here with your 10A and 10B so we can get to the Ragnarok. Yeah, theme. Neutron, the man with the nuclear punch. Oh, no, it did go eyeballs. Oh, we got a complete story here. We have a complete 1963 story. Now, for I think uh, 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 an art collector would want this. This is funny. This is about an art dealer who steals people's art, and then he gets his just reward at the end. Hilarious. An art dealer that sells art, and then he steals it, and then he gets his just reward at the end. From the 1963 Larry Lieber, Paul Ryman story titled, There Were Five Frightened Men. Five Frightened Men. Beautiful splash. I love all the heads and the eyeballs. eyeballs. And then page two, this guy, he's the sneaky guy on the left side. He, he sells people art, then he breaks into their house, and he steals the art back. That's page two. And then page three. This guy has this other one. He says, I got to have it, and the guy refuses to sell it to him. So, of course, the sneaky little art dealer that steals art, he goes to his house, Knocks him out, steals the art. Then, of course, what happens at the end? The guy says, you were foolish. You shouldn't have done it. Blah, and he fades away. Poof. The guy says, now it's six frightened men. The guy gets transported into the painting for the rest of his life. So that's the that humbling one. experience. Yes, folks. <laughs> doozy, doozy, doozy piece. John Byrne from... The official handbook of the Marvel Universe from 1983, the first run, the Super Scroll. This was done the exact same month John Byrne drew Fantastic Four number 259 book. Same exact time that he was drawing the, the actual comic book, signed at the bottom. This is John Byrne Inc. by Rubenstein. Beautiful piece. Of course, we have the scrolls who first appeared in what, what issue, uh, Bill? Uh, two. Very good. I'm so proud of you, Captain Billigan. And <laughs> uh, you thought I only read Thor and X Men. I know. I was seeing if you were going to get it. They are first, to, technically, other than the Mole Man, they are actually the second. The Scrolls are actually the second villains yes. ever in the Marvel Universe when we started our heroes. How about that after the Mole Man? But anyway, Amazing. great John Byrne piece drawn. And there's the published image there on the right, drawn the same month as Fantastic Four number 259. Holy Toledo. That is a doozy for certain. Ohio. And Frank, oh, I, I have to say holy that. Newark because I oh. live in New Jersey. <laughs> uh, but Robert's yeah, the Super Scroll first appearance was FF18, everybody's saying. But you said Scrolls. Well, this is the Scrolls, right? If I wrote Super Scroll, I meant the Scroll. Yeah, well, it actually scrolls. says Super Scroll on the on, on the image, actually, Mike. If I can Does pull it? Back. Yeah, it, uh, look right, look right, right there. It says it's a super scroll. Oh, but you, you asked me when did the scrolls first appear, so I answered. Well, but this is the, uh, on the. Oh, they do list it as a super scroll. Okay, I kept thinking yeah. it was a regular scroll. You're right. Super scroll was later. But you asked. I answered the. All question. right, Mark, uh, Frank two. wants the, the uh, Medusa for four hundred. I just want to get on the board here. All right. Yeah, before so. the recap. Anthony is selling the Medusa 3A for $400 to Frank Robert Johnson. For you art collectors out there, you get the art collector. One more to go on, uh, on Facebook, right on YouTube, everybody, to hit 200, right? We're almost there. I guess if I went to YouTube and pressed that like button, then uh, uh, we could hit it. Oh, that's a thought. But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so uh oh and it's back oh, somebody somebody just decided to thumbs down it i guess um oh anyway, no that minus it probably um anyway so you know we're, we know nobody's leaving we know nobody's no, leaving but there's the contact information on the screen right now margaret says i better do it don't worry margaret we're already at 22 over there on uh on facebook so we're well over the 200 number i i admit defeat uh oh, 203, 205 now well there we go all right, so See what I we have, have to, to do to it. bribe Billigan. What's that? So we had to bribe Billigan to get there. Yeah, to basically bribe her. Yep. So we're gonna have a cap episode. But hey, before we start the the Ragnarok recap, we have a extra special intro for this week. Something that uh, you know my son put together, and it's it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. So here we're gonna play this instead of the Ragnarok recap clips that we normally do. So uh, watch and enjoy, and then we'll get started. Yay! Sold is Ramita Man's 
favorite four-letter word. Gold is my favorite sport. Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord, the music An 80s, video. Uh, music video, huh? That gets us in the mood to sell some artwork. Oh, come on, Anthony. Oh my lord, thank you. I you got Remediaism. <laughs> I got a lamp. Got an overdose on Ramita, man. Ramita is a lamp chop. I thought a lamp chop was gonna fall on my head. <laughs> Better call. You forward. already jumped, smashed me and Sharon in the opening. Oh my goodness! What a you show go tonight. Got to go to Florida, Bill. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh boy! All right, let's get this recap started. Anthony, you get to lead us off. You're on the board with one sale, four hundred dollars, and Mike's on the board. Everybody with wants in the air from me. I'll be in the. I'll be in the chat. Yep. And uh, Michael Callen says that that should get us a few more likes. I think definitely the brave and the sold says Ray Cuthbert. Thank you, Ray. All right, Anthony, let's get you started here. We've got some work to do tonight, boy. Yeah, let's get this going. Let's I'm get going this all the way to the top. Wow. So your first piece has lot one. Two artworks here on, by Mark Bagley. Cheerlead. Can I cheerlead? Yes. Let's go. Action, action. We want action. ACT. Dealers in the front. Let me hear your grunt. Ooh, dealers in the middle. Let me hear your sizzle. Dealers in the rear. Let me hear your cheer. Ah, oh, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. That's awesome. Yay. Yay. We got little Bo Peep cheerleader. All right. So Mark Bagley's, these, you know, Bagley pages with FF on it go for like 700 bucks. Here's two for 500. But what's your best price, Anthony? Oh my God. Like 450. It's ridiculous. It's my favorite character in Marvel, Valkyrie in real life. I got my Norwegian Valkyrie wife. Oh, <laughs> And then we got little Sharon there. Oh, where is she? Anthony, do you know who the anchor is? Uh, yeah, Andy Lanning, right? Andy Lanning? Lanning? Andy Lanning. Yes, uh, that is uh, very true. All right, so there we go. So okay. 450, Anthony, best price on those two artworks? Oh, my God. Four and a quarter, but that, I mean, that's so cheap. I buy these for that. Look, it's got that thing. It got a little Sharon. All right. All right. So four and a quarter on your one, one A artwork. Somebody just bought them. Chop, chop. Nope. Okay. All Next right. up. Oh, Sharon in the helmet. All right. Now we got the the Phil Noto. I mean, I don't know what he charges for these, but I mean, he you know he's always had a uh, kind of expensive. Uh, so I'll do 400 on this. That's it. Claim it or not. Hurry, or Sharon, hurry and get it. Sharon wants to keep it. Phil Noto Harley, classic Harley Quinn. She's got the gray eyes. She's staring at you, but she's really cute. Smile, Sharon. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Claim. Szechuan. Uh, yeah, usually just remember, you always got to mention the, uh, lot number, but, uh, we'll take that as a claim. Uh, if that's what, Oh, Hey, Ashley, how are you? Yep. So Ashley. do you want the Noto? So yes. Claim Noto. Or claim one B even B. easier. Less to type claim and the round number. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll mark, we're going to mark that one as claim the one B. Uh, all right. So, yes, there you go. Claim notes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ashley. All right, next up, your 2A artwork. We got Happy, Happy, um, Happy Harley. All right, so this is like uh, the dog the uh, from whoa, a Hanna-Barbera. It looks like they um, made them smaller. Like this was a real cell that they cut down, and then Joe Barbera signed it. So a signed Joe Barbera uh, cell with the dog. That's rare. That's One, really cool. Yeah, I don't. I I just thought this was unique and fun. Uh, you know, never had anything like this on the show before. It's animation art. 
So I'll do 200 on this one. 200, claim it or not. Miss out. You don't claim. That's really cool. Well, Bob Berkheimer mentioned that it, he thinks it's ready, and uh, CJ Design said ready the dog too. And the, I guess the record has been beaten for the number of thumbs up on a, on a live broadcast. So thank you, everyone. I'm glad Yay! you want to see Okay, thank you, you Bob. Happen. Hey, Bob, send me a text. I want to talk to you about something. Yeah, that Bob Berkheimer over there on Facebook? Yeah. Shoot. Yep, Bob Berkheimer. Yep. $200, best price on, uh, the, on the dog. Really you know. Dog. Not 175. Come on. All right. 175 on Anthony's 2A. Next up, 2B. This uh, oh, Walt good. Disney Super Goof cover from 19. Yeah, this is a published cover, guys. This is a published Disney cover. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. You cook your hot dog on the flames from a jet. Yeah. That's I'll really do cool. uh, 445 on this. This should have gone already. 435. Look at that. That's a public like, Disney I'm cover. I'm hungry. I'm just hanging out here. Gonna cook yeah, my hot I was dog. Cheap enough. I'm gonna put that up for 750 tomorrow. All right. 750. So what are you going with on this one for your best price? Uh Seven. four four thirty two fifty. What? Okay, Brian Bale uh wants to ready the doggy. Yeah, hey, 175. But what was 472.50 isn't a number that I yeah. usually would write down. So, uh, what <laughs> would you say the 2B should be priced at? The one four and a quarter. I think that's cheap enough for a 70s Disney cover. Come on. All right. Well, that's thank crazy. you, Brian, for picking up the uh, 2A animation cell. We appreciate that. And Anthony is holding firm at 425. Although he did get an offer from Alberto at 350. No, no I'm going to hold off on it. I really, I mean, it's a published Disney cover. All right. This is okay. 1976. Oh, Are you up to 450 again? I thought it was Hot 425. Dog. I'm George <laughs> Bailey. Hot dog. <laughs> Brian. Uh, right. Well, Mickey is offering you 400 for it now for the, for the goofy. I, I, uh, okay, Boy. Alberto, uh, he, he, uh, he, uh, um, yeah, he said thumbs up. Okay, so Mickey, nice to hear from you again. Let's do that. Let's do that for 400. Okay. Thank you, Mickey. Yay. Thank you, Mickey. Hooray. Thank you so much. So cheap. I really should put this up for 750. God. All right. well, we appreciate it, Mickey. If and I Martin, didn't find it in a stack I bought for a hundred bucks, I would have marked it seven. No, I'm just. Kidding. No, you wouldn't. So, uh, yeah, Mark, your, your claim did come in late, but uh, so three A was picked up by Frank, and so three B is the next piece up for grabs. The San Julian. What is your best price on this one? Who's it's, Eddie? Eddie? Are they original the artworks? Blue. Yes, everything's original artworks here. Where the she, two... They're new. To, they're new to the show, Anthony. Okay. Yay. Thank you. So tell me oh. about uh, your best price on this San Julian. Oh, okay. Let's do it. I love this. It's uh, Vampirella in red pencil because she's so red and bloody and treasury. Oh, gosh. All right. So, Dude. you know, I'll cut to the chase at $750. Treasury. Who All right. claimed 2B at 225? No, 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 no. I'll clear. <clears throat> okay. No, they All right, don't. 750 on the San Julian. I we didn't see uh 400. No, they Sorry. they didn't. I'm losing my voice here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You accepted Mickey's offer before Mark said he claimed it. So okay. Mark, uh, unfortunately, Eddie or Mickey had already offered 400 and Anthony accepted it, and then you threw out. I claim on 2B, but it was and all... And I had a really we, we quick didn't miss your, we didn't miss I was your, waiting for somebody to come in at four and a quarter. Mark, yeah, so we didn't miss in. your claim, Mark. You were you were late. It was already accepted at 400. Uh, and Eddie, yes, everything we do on the show is all original artwork. So it's... Uh, yeah, no, I, no I threw in here. A, a fun... Uh, the the, the uh, dog animation right. cell at Joe Barbera. That was... Uh, 
that was the only the, the non art that we have in the show tonight. And again, Mark, I know you're saying to go look at it, but yes, you threw your claim in after Mickey's uh, offer was accepted by Anthony. So it, we see your claim, but again, it came in after the acceptance of the offer. So that uh, that is why that happened. All right, so you're at 750 on the San Julian, and that was your 3B, and next up, 4A. How much were they? Where was I at on these? Because if I five. Uh, okay, that's that's cheap enough. All right. So what what are you gonna do on this Bill Morrison Christmas couch gag? Simpsons. Wow, this is so good. Do it. All right. I'll do uh six fifty on this one. This one. This is great for framing, and then you put it up during Christmas and or look at forever, it. forever, because it's really awesome, and who cares what month it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, I love that I love Sharon it. noticed that because with her baking eyes, she has the baking skills of the gingerbread house that they're in. So six fifty on this one. Uh, this one, uh, he says, was uh, uh, done for a... a uh, a uh, limited edition uh, Saracel. Cool. All righty. So six fifty is your best price on that one. Yeah. Backwards. Yeah. All righty. Next up, four B. I'm okay. live on my art show. What's up? I can talk for ten seconds. So now I got the Christmas dinner with all with the extra Mr. Burns and. Uh, it looks like he knows. Mark, we didn't see you. It didn't come in until after Mickey had uh, uh, gotten it. So sorry about that. All right. So now we have the Mr. Burns and the Simpsons. Uh, I'll do eight fifty on this one. Eight fifty. So this is a really nice one. And again, I, I got like fifty pieces in. So check out the website. All right. So hey, Joe, can I say something? Yes. What's up? I'm just noticing. I, I posted like three times and none of them have popped up. I'm wondering if Mark's got lost. Well, there's a delay. I posted three. There, but, there's but definitely the, I mean, a delay I'm, I mean, tonight, I'm talking, guys. I'm yeah. talking five minutes. I posted twice and it still hasn't shown up. I, I, I uh, so posted I'm, I'm wondering if that, I'm just it's wondering if what happened to Mark. That's all. Yeah. Anything is possible, although Gwen does watch the live yeah. chat over on YouTube sure, as well. Sure. So nothing well, we can do about like nothing we can do about anything that we see here in the right. in the booth. No one else was shouting that Mark threw a claim in there, and we always see that. So you know, I think somebody uh, you know somebody would have pointed it out if that were the case. All right, let's keep this thing rolling. So the next up, five A, yeah. the Kevin West Guardians of the Galaxy piece. All right, so this one with the uh, Starhawk, who's uh, you know. Star Lord, man, yeah. Dad. All right, uh, back in the comic book days. So you have this one. I'll do an even a thou. One thou. That's awesome. Ten hun, hun. <gasps> All right. All right. So uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy the art is hot. It goes fast from the website. All right, one thousand dollars on this one, right, Anthony, for your five A. Yeah, we'll do a one thousand dollars. All right, five B is next for a pair of artworks from Iron Man Annual Nine, pages this is thirty-three from Mark and thirty-four. Bright and uh, has the uh, uh, this environmental uh, activist on it, uh, Babykins. That's gonna look at that short-haired Sharon flying around, floating around. Oh. All right, so but it's got a lot of Iron Man on it and some really good. Who's the other guy? It's got the space shuttle. Who's this guy? Ah. Who's that guy? He's an iron, irony, irony. What, what was the best price? I, I didn't oh, hear okay. it. So I'll do 1250 on these two Mark Bright Iron Man Annual and Bob Layton. Nine. Oh, and Bob Layton. Oh yes. my God, that's a bargain for Bob Layton, aren't you? 36. Bob right. Layton, Iron Man. 1250 for the pair, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies. Next ladies up, sit awesome. day. Gil Kane, Hawk and Duck. Right, Gil Kane, uh, John, really? John Salardo? 
All right. So uh, Wait, Hawk awesome. and Dove, uh, I'll do seventeen fifty on this one. Seventeen. This is really rare. You were saying earlier. Uh, Mickey says that he will uh, let it go at four and a quarter if whatever you want to do on that one. You decide, Bill. All right, so this is uh, Not up to me. The Gil Kane and John Salardo, <laughs> Hawk and Dove. I'll do 17. Maybe 17. 17. Woo, that's great. 17 on this page. All righty, $1,700. This is from a 12 cent comic book, it's, guys. It's really rare. Hawk and Dove. Well, it might be 15, but 1969. They, uh, 1969. I'm not sure. All right. 1700 on your 6A. Next up, 6B. That was the Jim Apparel Brave and the Bold page. Yeah, this one. Come on. I should have started this at 2500. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. All right. So uh, look at that Batman. Any lawyers in the house or in the courtroom? Lawyers. He can feel pain. Slap. Woo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll do eighteen real quick, but you gotta you gotta jump on this eighteen. Yep. I'm gonna put that up for like twenty five. Jump, jump, jump. So what are we sticking with on this one? Eighteen. Eighteen. All right, eighteen hundred dollars on your six B. Next up, seven A, the John Buscema Conan page. Wow, look at that. This is man. This is my favorite art. Whoa. Uh, I'm looking at that, Anthony, and that's pretty amazing. Are you looking John at it? Busema, Conan the Barbarian. Oh, come on. That that panel alone's worth a couple grand. Yeah. Yeah. God. 1984. 1984. So cool. All right. So uh, I would do two even on this one for this all John Busema, uh Conan action page with these kind of people on it. Look at that. Oh, he was the best at this. Exquisite. All right, so 2000? Yeah. Oh, All and now right. look at this. Next up, Pablo Marcos. Savage now this sword of Conan. Which one? On the John Buscema? No, it's it's very uh <clears throat> it's very white. This one uh, this is, uh, this was done on some kind of fiber paper and, uh, not an artboard because it's a magazine format, which is a little wider and shorter. So it's, it, it's not, it's a color scan, but it's not yellow. It's, that's just a scan. It's not yellowed at all. This one. No. Okay. So, so what was your best price on this one, Anthony? I'll do twenty two fifty for the one eyed monster. Hmm. Twenty two fifty. And the Babelicious Valkyrie in the Wow. In the bikini. Incredible. Incredible art. Alrighty. Hey Marty, um, you're a Conan fan. You like this one? Or the right. John Basema? Next up, 8A, Tony Daniel, Deadpool Ooh, cover. Cross hatching on this. What? All right, we got a Deadpool, Tony Daniel cover from Dark. It's a Dark variant. Uh, I guess, you know, Marvel is doing some like Dark variant, Venomized versions. All right. So uh, I'll do 2250 on this one. 2250. So Deadpool variant cover, 2250. All righty, two thousand two hundred fifty dollars and eight. What is that? Eight A. All righty, so twenty two fifty, Anthony. Yeah, look at that gorgeous chin on that guy. All right, next up, eight B. What do we got? Okay. Another, uh, Can I respond cover? to Marty here? Marty, on that offer that we had cooking on the that deal we had cooking, if you like this one. Where, where 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 was I? Twenty two. You know what? I'll do two even on this one. This is amazing. It's amazing. I love the, this one. There's no words. Two the even on that on one. That is just crazy amazing. All right, two even on that one. And oh, 
And I what did I that. say on the Conan? Let's do eighteen hundred on the other Conan. Yeah, you were at two thousand, so you're gonna go yeah. eighteen hundred oh. on seven A. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's some good Conan art putting out there for you, Marty. Anthony, this is just so, so amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Really good. All righty. So uh, next up, eight B, Anthony. That was the right, uh, so, Albuquerque. Oh, uh, that, that's the heavy frame one. Okay. So let's do. <sighs> Let's do the Raphael Albuquerque. What's so cool about this is that it's black and white wash art. It's just finished black and white art. They threw the colors over in the, in the comic book, of course. But this finished black and white framed in a brushed metal frame, probably a $200 frame. Let's do 25 on this one. Raphael Albuquerque. There's a... Very good artist. Pretty uh, amazing. I love the Samuel, fact that 15. it's finished black and white art there. Okay. All right. 2,500 on 8B. Next up, 9A. Yep. 25 even on that. Anybody got some interest? Let me know with some offers. Want to get something done here tonight? Yeah. I had the best day today. Come on, folks. All right. Now we got the what if cover. I'll do 22 on this one. 22. 22. Look at that. It's got what if Spider Man, Flash. what if Jane Foster. And there's no more valuable what if comic book than what if Jane Foster had claimed the power of Thor. That is so that homage is the best. That was a thousand dollar book at one time. I think it's come down a little since the last movie, but yep. 22 on that one. 22. All, All right. right. Next up, 9B. I'll say it again. Next up, 9B. <laughs> I just did that one. No, you did 9A. There it is. There's 9B. 9B. Well, yeah, yeah the, the, the picture was still up. At the, okay, so Laugh Comics, Harry Lucy story. You know, uh, you got to know what this is to want it. It's Doug like this is, cheap, is, people. this is really hard stuff to come by, a complete story like this. Yeah. And uh, I'll, what is that? We're going backwards. Okay, Harry Lucy story. Wow, people ask me for this kind of this guy's art all the time. It shows. Got any Harry Lucy Archie art? Wow. Look at that. Yeah. You know what? What happened? Seven B. No, well, can you give your best price on this one before we address uh, that? Forty-eight hundred. Forty-eight. Yeah, it's like this is. It's, it's a crazy. This is a really good deal in the first place. Five thousand. I'm gonna mark this sixty five hundred. Six pages of awesomeness from Harry Lucy. Yeah. All right. You have so to how hard this is. And I saw in the chat Andrew Clark said that they will claim seven B if if Marty doesn't go for it. So I guess we need to to know from Marty if he's gonna go for it or not. Because uh, <laughs> if not, Andrew will go ahead and Okay, uh, Andrew. Well, what are we doing? Uh is well, that you, the, need to, uh, you need to hear from uh, from Marty on that one. And thank you, number one Marvel fan. We're all hanging in there right now. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so yes, we have to wait to hear from Marty before we can accept Andrew's offer. But I'm sure Marty is thinking about it. Uh, we got two more pieces to look at, Anthony, before we are done with your artwork. Is that Next the uh, Marcos? That was the Marcos, yes. Or the Basema. Okay, the Marcos? That was the Marcos. Yeah, you were at two. Uh, at two. And Marty okay, saying, so Marty wants the Basema, and then uh, Andrew wants the uh, Marco. So we got good on both of them. Yay! Uh, okay, so then, uh, well, then I Yay. guess that works out for Marty, and uh, which I'll highlight so everybody on Facebook can see that too. Marty Weber taking the the Busema, which was the seven A, and Andrew going for the seven B. Yay! Thank you, Andrew, and thank you, Marty. My, hey, thanks, my two Conan you. guys. Woo! That's why I debut stuff on this show, guys, is for your uh, collecting pleasures. Indeed. All right. Now, two more to look at. We've got your 10A up next. Yep. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Which one? Where'd it go, Jen? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, I put it over here because I really loved it. Oh, she loves the Wonder Twins. She made the best Jan. She walked around with... Uh, uh, 
A, a bucket. A bucket of water. Oh, that was the best cosplay she ever a, did. A bucket of water. As Zan. She was no. Made, who's Jan bucket. and who's Zan? Zan is the guy and Jan is the girl. Okay, Jan, like your mommy. Oh. All right, so we got a Ramona Freeman <laughs> celebrating her 95th birthday, I think. So let's do um, 6,800. Just All so right. you know, uh, this there this was a, uh, a stat, but the art is underneath. They just decided to make it bigger. There is art underneath. The art is underneath, and you can what what, what is that face? That means uh, Mr. Berkey probably clicked his back button and knocked himself out of the studio. So, um, yeah. Oh, and it just adjusts accordingly. Okay. It has to. Yes. Yay! No, nah, okay. we don't miss him. Now we've just. Got <laughs> Now we, yes, uh, there we. <laughs> I'm just re-upping because all my posts are not going my through. I didn't know I to I'll take right? care of it. I was uh, doing some goofy posts and they were going. Oh boy. All right. Long. So we have one more piece to look at, everybody. One more piece. Here it is, guys. $800 on the, on the remote I have one sale. Cover. No, I do not have one sale. I have one, two, three. Don't worry four, about four. it, Anthony. Let's. Uh, I will not worry about on. it. So this one I got for. Look. I'll Somebody wants this morning. really quick. 8500 for Ross Andrew published cover action, action comic. Comics cover. What? Published. Yep. 8500 real quick. Tonight only. Wow. And then 68. Okay. That is, that concludes my offerings for tonight. And I will... Turn over the, the platform to Mr. Mike Burke. All right. So yeah, so you're you're Aww. up to what? You got you got six sales. Mm. Six sales. Oh, my number one fan. Look at that beautiful name. Hey Phil, I wanted that. I don't know why I posted. Uh, if we could do 325 on the born loser, we could do that. Uh, let me know. I sent six texts. Yeah, but, and, Mike, uh, none of your none of your posts went into the youtube chat i know i, I don't know why i don't know why but either but I, it's on your phone I go to my you know. AO, regular site they, they they're on the screen so i didn't so, know why so so you've countered cab at 325 with the born is that what you said 325 right 425 right. I, right which one 325 yeah all right so that was uh just so oh thanks Albert. Card. you were at uh you're changing your your 2A to 325 if Comic Art Boston and he has okay, accepted. Okay, he took it. Yep. So we got that. Yeah, thank you, Comic Art. That's yours. A big piece. Big piece for my buddy. Yeah, nice, nice shipping to Singapore. <laughs> I know. Thanks yeah. for hanging in there, Cab. Yay, oh, Comic Art right. Boston. So All now. right, I'm taking offers in the chat. Mike, take it away. Happy Take days, likewise, buddy. Yes, let me get uh, Mike's one a pair of artworks on the screen. Here we go. Let's see. This is this is. Uh, I have three hundred on these. I'll do two fifty. Uh, again, it's the artist, uh, New York Times best-selling artist, and Eisner award-winning and Harvey award-winning artist for his Tiny Titans. And again, this is the style he draws and he sells all stuff. I saw on eBay three hundred bucks. One of his sketch covers went for like this. But anyway, just one of them. But uh, uh, 250 on all, uh, you get both of them there. And I know he doesn't draw much. These are from both from 2008, also. So should hold them. To the top probably. All right, so 250 but, uh, on the pair. Uh, sh you know what, Bill? I just want to go. We'll do 200 for the pair. So 200 bucks. Just trying to move them. I just got them in in a deal. So they're from 2008, and the famous artist on Tiny Titans, and he does itty bitty Hellboy, published artist. So. And they're nine by twelves or so. Uh, each of them is seven by ten and a half. Oh, okay, seven by ten and a half. All right, so uh, that was your one. Bucks for the pair, folks. Here we go. So now we've got uh, this uh, great Thor page, our pair of pages, pencils and inks, separate yes. boards. Um, I have five hundred on it. Got some. Oh, wait, semi splash page five hundred. I'll do four fifty on it. Again, you got Captain America at the top. Also, it, it's he's cut up, but. Captain America running is at the top of it. Sort of cool. Then you got Thor battling, Thor flying through the air. Then Jane Foster 
Smashing the mechanized dinosaur. Beautiful piece. The published pencils are on. A, these are all published pencils on the 11 by 17. Then you get the published inks. You get them both. 450. What what I say in that bill? You said 450, Mike. Yeah, I'll do four and a quarter. That's fine. Four and a quarter for the pair. All righty, 425 on Great your semi-splash page, folks. Wow. All right now, two A head sold. Gold. 2A is gone to Comic Card Boston. Thank you, Cab. So next up is 2B, another uh, double page spread here. 2B or not 2B? We'll find out. That is the question. Great double spread splash with all the wrecking drive. 600 on this. Uh, I'll lower it to 500 bucks. Great, great. And at the top of it, you even got images of Captain America and Spider Woman there at the top. Look at that. And again, the published art was published from these pencils. Great piece, and you get the whole wrecking crew there on the double spread. Again, this is 22 by 17 inches overall, drawn on two boards. Just a great piece. And then Sasquatch comes to uh, battle uh, on the next page. But all colons, and this is the published art. What yeah, I say in that, Bill? You were at 550. 550. Or no, 500. I'm sorry. 500. You know what, Bill? I'll do 475 on it. What the heck? All right, 475. Beautiful DPS, folks. 475. Phenomenal artwork. Lots of pencil work in that one. All right, next up, 3A. Uh, the Walt Simonson. Uh, this is 11 by 14. It's bigger. I have 1,000. I'll do a 900 on it. And it's from 1999, folks. 24 years old. And it's penciled and inked in marker, of course, but it's penciled and marker finished. By the great Walt Simonson from 1999. Uh, this is uh, a 10.75 by 13.75 inches. This is larger, not one of those tiny things. So very, very cool piece. By the great Walt Simonson. The man with the longest line for any con. Well, I guess next to Chris Claremont. Maybe maybe the second longest lines. What I say in that, Bill? You said $900, Mike. Uh, I'll do 875 What the heck? All righty, 875 on your three A. And again, me and Anthony both time payments are fine. We'll work it out with you, you know. Mm -hmm. Anything that's within reason. I love this. You get it, you get a twofer here. Beautiful piece here. Um, where are we at? Uh oh yeah. Uh Paul Smith, beautiful Hawkman pinup, and uh the Chinkin Hawkman pinup. You get them both. I mean, I could split them up, but I'd rather sell them as a pair. But anyway. I have a thousand on. I'll sell the listen to be nice. I'll sell the pair 850 for the pair. So, well, very, very cool. The Paul Smith is 11.4 by nine inches. The Jaken is 11 by 14 inches. Both signed, they're both from 2002. Very, very, very cool. Nice. And you'd split them up if people wanted to make separate offers, I imagine. Yeah, but I'd rather sell them as a set, of course. That's why I'm going to 850. Cut to the chase, you get the pair. All right. So 850 on your 4A Paul Smith and Howard. I'll Chase. tell you what. I mean, if it helped, listen, I'll do 500 and 300 on them. So there, you get them for 800 or 500 and 300. So there you go. All right. There you go. Uh, let's see. So next up is your 5A Graham Nolan card art. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, uh, I'll do, you know what? I'll cut the chase. I'll do a thousand bucks on it. Published 1994 by the great Graham Nolan, inked by Scott Hanna. There's the published card there, so you know you got a published card. A thousand bucks done on uh, this is 20 set, let's see, 29, holy, 29, holy, 29 yeah. years old. Um, uh, and published card number 82 from Nightfall Skybox, published card set, and inked by bucks. Scott Hanna. By the, yep, inked by the great Scott Hanna over the great Graham Nolan's pencils. So 1000 on this one, Mike? For 1, 40? 000, yep. All right. 1000 on uh, You know what? To keep the chase, I'll tell you what I'll do. 975 there. All right. 975 on 4B. Next up, five or uh, And I'll do package deals too, folks. So let me know. Yep. Very good. All right. Now. Oh. 5B. Oh, that's right. Did we skip? We skipped the Mike Miller Superman, didn't we, Bill? Well, that's why I was confused. Yeah, I think uh, the production staff skipped over one on me because I was thrown on that. I too. just realized I'm going like, why is that still sitting there? 
Yeah, we did skip over one. So let's take a look at the uh, the 4B. Okay. Yep, Mike Miller. Piece. Yeah, Mike Miller, Splash Inc. by Jose Marzano. I have 1,000 on it. I'll do 900 on it. There's the published Splash at the bottom. Very, very cool piece. Oh, I forgot to mention, it does have a couple little cuts at the very, very, very top. Just touches into the artwork. I forgot to mention that. And there's a little tear right here that was touched up from the back. But it's Is that I saw like a piece of masking tape there at the top yeah. of the back? See, they had the, they did masking tape on the back of it. That's how I got it. So, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really interfere with any drawn artwork. But really nice. Uh, as a matter of fact, Bill, I will do eight fifty on the splash. This is twenty three years old. I'll do eight fifty. Great Superman splash. I like how they put his old costume in dark, did the reverse with the low with the chest plate. So anyway, uh, eight fifty. I'll do on that one. All right, eight fifty on the four B, and we were at nine seventy five on the Graham Nolan five A. So five B is the next one now. Actually, Mike, that, that this is the Frank Miller, not that one. Oh, in that's your hand. right. That's right. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Uh, the Frank Miller. Uh, you know what? Uh, again, this is just for tonight only. Just for uh, I'm going to do a thousand bucks on this. What the heck? Just to keep moving. I actually just got in a deal. A guy drove up from out of state, and we did the deal on Saturday morning. I picked up a bunch of things from him. He drove to my house. So uh, this was in the deal. Thousand bucks. Get yourself a nice Frank Miller, and it's a nine point eight. Who knows what a nine point eight comic goes for? Probably a few bucks too. But CGC nine point eight done in twenty sixteen, drawn by the great Frank Miller. So you get thousand bucks. Wow. All right, one thousand even, and Mike's five B Frank Miller sketch cover. Yeah. All right. Really next nice. up, now we got that painting as the next one that. Uh, that Spider Woman of a different yes, uh, the, the published Pox Nora online gaming Spider Demon is large painting. Uh, I have 1500 on it. I'll, I'll go, I'll go 1250. Very, very cool. Uh, published this guy worked for Magic the Gathering, World of Warcraft, uh, Marvel licensing, and Heavy Metal Magazine. He's drawn for all of them. He's in uh, uh, England in the UK, so uh. Very nice piece done in acrylic. This is large, done on 15 by 18 and a half inch thick artboard, done in acrylic, published painting. And if you look online, they show the piece when you look up the artist. So this is on his webpage. So very, very right. nice. What I say in that, Bill? 1250, Mike. Yeah, I'll go 1200 bucks. What the heck? All nice right. large piece. Very cool. Look at the, all the little uh, spiders coming, hatching out of their eggs. Bunch of little skulls <laughs> all around, skull on her chest crazy or, or lower abdomen way lower abdomen ian your wife would probably oh. kill you for picking up this one too so next no 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 ian that's fine <laughs> you're allowed to 14 all right so 1200 on your 6a now we've got your 6b george uh, the here. wonder woman i love it i'll go 1300 on it really nice and i love he actually penciled in her entire he penciled in her entire body i'm trying to get in close that's actually detailed pencils, her whole body. He, he penciled it all in. I thought that was pretty wild. Yeah. Very, very cool. Mixed media piece by the great George Perez. Holy moly. Beautiful, beautiful Wonder Woman. Doesn't get much better than that from the late, great George Perez. All right. So you're going to stick a 300 or 1300 there? Uh no, I'll do twelve I'll do 1250. So we'll go twelve fifty. What the heck? And again, I do time payments also, folks. So always know that. All righty. 1250 on your six B. Next up, seven A Dan DiCarlo. Man, I love it with the James Bondish thing, the female James Bondish piece. Hard to find Dan DiCarlo, large art, 1960s, twice up, and the James Bond sort of theme with the female James Bond. Um, I'll I'll do uh 1350 on that. Pretty nice piece. And I love uh, his signature at the bottom, too. But really nice. 1965. And you even get the published image there on the right, too. Sort of cool. So. What I have on that, Bill? 1350, Mike. 1350, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll do uh, I'll do 1250 before the end of the night. Just try to get a couple more sales in there. All right. 7A at 1250. Next up, 7B. That was the Web of Spider-Man page with Iceman in it. 
Yeah, these are going like hotcakes. Spider-Man in every panel. I have 22. I'll do 2,000 on it. Spider-Man in five of five panels. Iceman in four great panels. And we get Jarvis and Agent Carter in four panels also. Holy moly. And this is 33 years old. This is early in his Web of Spider-Man career. Uh, for uh, Alex Savick, inked by Keith Williams. From the story titled Cold Hands, Warm Art. I love that. For that. It's the motto of every OA collector out there. Cold so hands, <laughs> warm art. Gotta love that. Yeah. So it's 2000 on this one? Yep. All right. So 7B, $2,000. We get uh, six more pieces to look at here. Next wow. up is the 8A Sal Buscema ROM page. Oh, wow. Boy, it's a nice one, too. Uh, uh, I'll do uh, 2300 on it. Real nice with ROM. And I love his best buddy, Karis, is actually taken over by the Space Phantom. Looks like the Green Goblin's little brother there. Look at that. Beautiful Rom and Karis and the Space Phantom and the Dire Wraiths at the top from issue 19 from the story titled Limbo. When Kitty Pride used his neutralizer accidentally on him and sent him into Limbo. How much should I have on that, Bill? He said 23. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll go 2200 before the end of the night. All right, 2200 on your 8A ROM 19 page. Yep, 22. And, and again, we do time payments too, folks. Yes, we do. So next up, 8B, that was the Keith Giffen, World's Finest. Yes, this is a good one. Wow. I said, this is a great next to last World's Finest story with Batman and Superman, where Superman is actually dying. And uh, Batman is saying, I got to save you. And he goes, nope, you have to do the right thing. You have to go after them and let me die. And he says, okay, I will do it. So anyway, I have 26 on it. I'll do 24. Really, really nice. This is uh, Keith Giffen, Inc. by Carl Kessel. Great story titled Double Trouble. Very, very, very key story. And they're literally, each of them are in every single panel. Wow. Yep, no, nope. nice inking on this one by Kessel as oh, well. Oh, it's phenomenal. And it's signed by the writer. What I have on that, Bill? You said 24, Mike. 24, okay, I'll do 23. What the heck, before the end of the night. Kiesel? Man, I thought one of them would go. Thank oh, you, EC. Forward. I'll try to remember that, Kiesel. Okay. Uh, and uh... <laughs> Oh, I always said Carl Kessel my whole life, Kiesel. Hey, you learn something new every day. And yeah. T. Gleason says, Bill promises to take his shirt off with ladies in the house. He's liable to get 300 likes. That will not, never happen. Not going to happen. Uh, but all right. So uh, 2,400 on this one, Mike? No, I said I'll go to 23. Oh, 23. Sorry about that. All right. 2,300 on your 8B. Next up, 9A. Oh, that was the... Uh, art there, folks. Keith Kirby Giffen. Royer. Wow. From 1980. Just so you know, this is from 1985. Wow, that's a doozy. Uh, you skipped one. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. You did it right. My bad. Yep, 90. Okay, the Jack Kirby, Mike Royer. Ooh, the climactic final page where they destroy Big Max. Jack Kirby, um, I'll do 3,300 on that. Inked by the great Mike Royer from 1974. This is 49 years old. And this is the climactic last page where they destroy the machine from the uh, Hitler's Nazi machine called Big Max. They destroy it. But again, great our fighting forces losers page with them destroying it. Gotta love that. Matter of fact, I'll do 3250. So 3250. All right. Nice Kirby Royer war page wow. there. 3250. That's your 9A. You got yep. three more to go here. Look at the action and machinery. Oh, my Lord, by the great Jack Kirby. As, yeah, Jack Kirby lived it. He knew how wow, to draw it. he did. He was in World War II. Yeah. Yep. So uh, 9B, the Jay Anacleto piece. Oh, this is a doozy. So there's all this. And, again, you get the the published. This is published. And you get the, uh, the, pub, the book with the published page in it also. Um, I have 3500 I'll go 3200 on it. And again, we do time. Yep, here you go. You got the book, and there's the page that goes with it. So, from his book, Hat Trick. 3200 Believe it or not, this entire piece was created in pencil. I can't believe 
how unbelievable this piece is. And you get the cool image of that. You know, like I said, he's bailing the green goblin. Look at there's a goblin there in the upper right. Get a load of that. All done in pencils. That's amazing. What I, Bill, I'll tell you what, Bill. I'm going to be nuts. I'll do, uh, I was going to say 3,100. But honestly, um, before the end of the show, I'll take three grand for it. But that's the lowest I'll go. But it's going to go right. on the site for 35 if we don't get a get a deal on it. But you get the book, too. And the book, again, is signed and dated in 2011 by J. Anacleto. So you get the book. Goes with the art. All right, so 3,000 even. So for tonight only, that's the lowest I will ever, ever go. But after tonight, it goes on the site for 35. So, man, I thought that would have went. Wow. That's a nice one. We got two more to look at. 10A is next up, and that was the complete five-page story. Um. Yes. Wow. Uh, Lieber and Ryman. I said our buddy Wayne. I thought this would be up Wayne's Alley or some of the guys that like the Silver Age stuff. Hard to find the, the Silver Age complete stories nowadays. Um, I have five grand on it. I'll go forty six hundred. You get them all, and we yeah, have a claim. Yes, Yay, we Thank you so the, much, Mark. On the Spider Man, I thought that was a good deal. Yeah. No, you can't go. Wrong. Get the story, folks, for forty five hundred. As a matter yeah. of fact, you know what? Just to keep things rolling, we get the right guy, and I love it. It's about an art dealer who steals art from people. How ironic is that? But anyway, I'll tell you what, Bill. I will do forty three hundred before the look at look at the last page where the guy gets stuck in the painting. Six frightened men. And the splash is great. Forty three hundred gets you the entire nineteen sixty three story. I mean, Spider Man one came out in nineteen sixty three, folks. You got the whole story, forty three hundred bucks, large art, nineteen sixty three. Larry right. Lieber and Paul Ryman. Forty three hundred on this one. That's 42, your ten a. Matter of fact, forty two fifty. That's it. Forty two fifty. Okay. Forty two fifty. The whole story, stamp dated October seventh, nineteen sixty three, on the back. Fifty nine. No, no, I can't even say fifty nine. It's uh sixty years old. All right, last piece, ten yep. b. The John Byrne Super Scroll that you had at six thousand dollars. You know what? It keeps it going. Um, again, I'll do time periods. Also, uh, came out the same month as Fantastic Four two fifty nine. Whereas, as I thought, it's fitting how it's a Fantastic Four character. Um, I um, I'll do five grand on it. All right. Uh, let's see. Five grand on that one, and. Um, Mike, you did get an offer from Mark yeah. on the uh, on the ten A. You were at forty two fifty, yeah. and Mark is off. You know what? Just 4, Mark, I'll, I'll take the four thousand. That's fine. I would never quip over two fifty on a big piece like that. On the fi so thank five, thank you. You like get that. that for four grand. All right, nice, nice pickup on that one, this Mark. Is five as well. grand. What was my two B bill? Two B was the uh, that Omega flight piece uh by scott collins you were at 475 and trevor is offering you 400 dollars. uh just trevor can you do 425 and i'll i'll do the 425 what what did i have did i originally have six on it bill you had six and you went to 475 uh, okay 425 i'll do that yeah mark i love you too <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's always a love hate relationship. So you're so again, uh, countering... five grand on the uh, John Byrne. All right, so five on uh, John Byrne. Wow. And back to Trevor or anybody else on that 2B at 425. Yeah, let me go back to that. Let's see. Nobody, nobody took that one, huh? God, I thought that one was. No, that one's the one that Mark took that one. Mark took that one and the uh, Mark got the. Mark got both? Yeah, Mark got the the nine B and the ten A. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about. The, I didn't realize it was the same person. Sorry about that, Mark. Thanks. I, I knew they were sold. I just didn't know they went to the same guy. Thanks, Mark. Well, it certainly makes it easier to ship. Yes, it does. Right? And, okay, so uh, any I don't last think that scores right yet though. after that last purchase, but uh, the other person could uh, uh, four twenty five on the uh, double spread splash. Turn on your mic and hold up some art. <laughs> I got Galactic, it. five grand, and I'll give you time payments. Is this the one bill that was 2B? Uh, yes, that was the 2B. 425 I'll do. I had 600 on it. I think that's a doozy. 
and you get Captain America and and Spider Woman at the top. Holy moly! And uh, what do you well, think? Mickey was offering it back to you, Mark, and I thought you had told him, uh, you know, that he should he should get it because it was a good deal. So I assume Mickey still is intending to. Get well, that, Mickey that. said it, he can have it at four and a quarter if he wants it. So it just he just needs to confirm that. Is that to right. say Mark that just spent seven thousand dollars with Berkey to give him the victory tonight? It would seem. So while they're showing the artwork, I should remind everybody that if you any purchase, more, if you any more offers, any folks, let me know this evening. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do it tonight. Email both of these gentlemen. You can see their email addresses on the screen. Look, I'll even hide them for a second so you can see them really big. You can see both of their email addresses there. Always email put your them. address. Yes, email them tonight. Let them know which artworks you purchase and include your mailing address uh, when you do that. And then also your YouTube handle so that everybody knows uh, uh, all, of, all of that, how they can easily get an invoice out to you. Anthony usually invoices before he goes to bed. Yep. So, uh, and I Mike, get my Mike, PayPal uh, invoices. I take too. PayPal. I try to Mike do it doesn't. every night. To stay ahead. That's true. Last, last After chance. After another fun. dueling dealer victory over Anthony Snyder, Batman likes to get his favorite dish, lamb chops, and eat a nice plate of lamb chops after defeating Anthony Snyder on dueling dealers at Comic Art. Yum, 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 yum. How appropriate for this evening after those wonderful lamb chops that you made yeah, earlier, hey, Sharon. Uh, Sharon should be shipping those out, out to me. <laughs> um, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> those, yeah, those are keepers, weren't they? Yeah, um, I can do $1,200 on it, Jeff, if you want it. Okay, I was just going to highlight uh, that for you, uh, Mike. So uh, so you're saying 1200 back on that DiCarlo, and that was your this 7 This one right here. Yeah, yeah that, or your, yeah, your 7A. Uh, and 226 likes for one night on YouTube alone. That's pretty amazing. But we had at least 22 over on Facebook too, so we might be closer to 250. That that indeed is a amazing record. Is that a record? Um, oh, for a, yeah, for a live show, absolutely, uh, without question. Thank you to everybody in the chat who rallied to see me get uh, you know my Captain America on next week. I'm really looking forward to it. I, we're going to have to brainstorm on some memes, obviously, but uh, it's going to be fun. And you guys have to dig up some extra Captain America artwork so that we can make the, the show extra special for next week. Um, but Somebody yeah. brought me like 10 pages today. Uh, I I got to work on a deal with them. Where is all the MODOK art, guys? I don't know, man. Um, but hey, everybody! It was a fun show, definitely. We, I, we I don't, I, I don't get cooked lamb chops when I lose. So I get raw lamb chops. Let your doggy have a piece. Those were so awesome, Sharon. That you know, you outdid yourself on those. Oh, pretty good. Believe it or not, when you first, I actually thought those were real lamb chops, Sharon. Yay! That's her artistry at work. No, I really thought those were real lamb chops when I first saw them. Awesome. Thank There's you. There's me before and after. Forever. <laughs> ay, 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 I'm ay, Greek, ay. so I like my lamb chops well done. Bra, 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 bra. <laughs> Thanks so All much, right, everybody. everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, we'll be back here again next week with our Captain America episode. Just oh, because boy, we're going to put some. I'm going to make it. sure I have some Captain America art, some doozy Captain America art next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll be wearing out. this. Right there. The entire, it, it will, matter of fact, Bill has to be shown every two minutes so he doesn't take it off in between rounds. I can't take it off between. Once it goes on, it cannot come off. That's that thing problem. is so tight. It, it's like skin on his face. That's what's going to yeah. be so funny. Oh. Yeah, there's, it, there's a lot of, skinny as is, a lot of gimp are jokes are going to come out of that, that one. Gimp, let the gimp out. He looks like Paul Billigan. you got to put the Gilligan hat on top of it just once during the show. Oh, that'll be I, so I am funny. not your puppet during this thing. <laughs> You're just getting the mask. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you again next Love week. Love you, everybody. See you next week. I've Thanks. got a cap update tomorrow where we're doing a heritage recap. So anybody who wants to see how that goes, uh, please tune in tomorrow. And, uh, you know, again, thanks for enjoying the show.